Hey, what's up? Tiger Duchess in Clash Royale. So if you're wondering, yes, this is a new tower just added to the game. And we're gonna give a breakdown of what it's like, what decks work with it, and where you wanna be playing in the arena to be able to counter it. So first thing first, I did not spend money on any of the offers. As you guys can see, $40 offer still in the shop. I refuse to spend money on that. I refuse to spend money on all these things here. I would recommend you guys do the same thing as me, where you go to your elite wild card collection and you go to your legendary collection. If you use all 20 wild cards that you have saved up, if you have had the chance to be, you know, saving those up uh, every single season, like you've been going to Path of Legends and you've been climbing all the way to the Ultimate Champion, you'll get wild cards and you can use those wild cards to uh, dump them into your Dagger Duchess. And then you can use a book like I did. And I used uh, one of my legendary books. I had two of them. Uh, I used one of those to upgrade her all the way to level 13 and then add another 20 cards. We're about to upgrade her to level 15 live on stream. I felt like, you know, I was, I got like halfway through. I was like, why was I not upgrading this on stream? I feel a little bit stupid, a little bit silly. Anyway, here it is. Dagger Duchess is going to be level 15 without any money spent, which is really cool. Uh, however, it does take a lot of time to get it maxed out without any money spent. So uh, yeah, our strategies here, this top ones are going to be Goblin Drill, uh, Lava Hound, and then also like some other weird Lava Hound or like other weird Goblin Drill decks, and then uh, also Golem. And the reason why these decks are strong is because if you're able to defend really well in single elixir, a lot of these decks will be very broken later on in the game. Uh, or you can set up big pushes because like you're able to go for a Lava Hound in the back, and then the Dagger Duchess is damaged because it's really strong at the start. A lot of damage at the start. Uh, then it's going to be able to help you defend when you go in for that Lava Hound aggressively. So there's a bunch of reasons why these decks are strong right now in the meta. Uh, I would say that you know Dagger Duchess has revolutionized the way the Clash Royale is played, and it's uh, definitely not the same. So let's break down some of the things that we were going to show earlier about the Dagger Duchess and why she is so different. So number one. Just taking a look at this chart really quick, you guys can see that the blue is the damage per second of the Dagger Duchess. So if we look at the chart, there's a lot more damage as it continuously goes up. So way more damage potential at the very start because she has a lot of daggers. When she uses her daggers all at the start, she just throws her entire arsenal at the opponent and she's able to out damage even the cannoneer. But after a while, as you can see, the cannoneer's, uh, the cannoneer's orange damage it's definitely uh, overtaking the Dagger Duchess because the Dagger Duchess has to reload, so then she falls out of favor. And then, you know, you see the, uh, <laughs> the princess just tagging along the entire time and eventually surpassing the Duchess, but way longer. It takes a very long time for the princess to outdamage the Duchess. So if you're wondering, what are the two best towers? It's going to be the Dagger Duchess or it's going to be the Cannoneer. And this is one of the things that I think the Clash Trial is going to add into the game. Uh, the Princess Tower is just eventually going to be, you know, not that great of a card. It's kind of like how the Musketeer was used a lot early on in Clash Royale. And then, you know, the Archer Queen got added. And then the Firecracker got added. And then, you know, Little Prince got added. And there's so many different ways of playing the game without using the Musketeer. Musketeer is still a good card. Like, same thing with the Princess Tower. Princess Tower is still good. Obviously, you would prefer to have that over nothing. But at the same time, it's like there are better options. And uh, the other things that, besides the damage that is different, you can look and the Dagger Duchess actually has more health. So not only is she superior in damage potential to the Princess Tower, but she is also better from a health department. And also, at the start, she is way better. So if you're just fighting in single elixir and there's a few units coming at you, you slaughter them with the Dagger Duchess. The Dagger Duchess is really, really good in fights that don't take that much time. And then also, in a later stage of the game, when you're trying to spell cycle opponents, having that little bit of extra health makes a world of a difference. So obviously, in longer fights, as you can see, there's a 93 there. That's her minimum damage per second that she can get to. It's very bad. So she's awful when she gets into situations where there's an extended push coin at her. So if you want to counter her, the best way of countering her is building up a big push and double elixir, where you can afford a lot of units. Because then the Dagger Duchess shoots her shots, and then she's done with everything, and then she can't defend. So basically, Dagger Duchess is really, really good in single elixir, really good with decks that want to either stack up elixir collectors in single elixir, so you want to defend, or build up beatdown pushes, or just running an overpowered goblin drill deck because goblin drill is overpowered. So 
yeah, that that's essentially it. That's the Dagger Duchess. If you guys have any questions, you guys can let me know in the comment section or in the chat. I'll try to read as many as I can. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do. We're gonna be running Dagger Duchess in every single one of our decks today, and we're gonna be trying to play our hardest and seeing where we can get. So let's get after it. Let's first play. I kind of want to play the Lob Hound deck first because I've never played Lob Hound recently, but I always lose the first game of the day. Should I? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. We're going to try to win the first game. We're going to try to win the first game today. So let's play this deck instead. We recorded live? Uh, obviously not, if I just read your comment. All right. $40 is wild. Yeah, I did not spend the $40. I got it for free. However, uh, I did spend a lot of time getting there, and time is a valuable commodity. In fact, a lot of people would say, Jake, the time that you spent pushing Ultimate Champion is worth more than $40. $40. But then I would say I was going to do it anyway, and... Uh, I think this is a good allocation of my legendary cards. So yeah, you guys can do what I did and uh, just eventually get there. Just take a little bit of time, but it is worth it. Also, the Dagger Duchess is about to just go and kill this baby dragon real quick. I don't even know if I have to respond. I didn't. Isn't that insane? I didn't even have to respond to the baby dragon with an ice spirit. I could have done that anyway, but I, I just decided not to, I guess. So looking good. We'll go for a zap here, and then we might be able to kill that. Ah, that was too good to be true. Dagger Duchess from our opponent is dead. Uh, out of arrows, but it doesn't matter because he's able to have time to replenish it. That's why I said in single elixir, I think Dagger Duchess is really, really strong because you're going to have a lot more time since the opponents can't immediately replenish their elixir. So then uh, the Dagger Duchess now is pretty bad because there's been a lot of units on the field. There's been an extended fight in the arena and my Dagger Duchess is not able to finish off that knight. Oh my gosh, barely, barely, barely. So that could have been extremely bad for us, but we'll take what we can get. All right, so remember, the guy's got Poison Baby Dragon, so it's definitely going to be a Graveyard Duck. So we're going to go for Poison there. Then I think we can go in for probably Goblin Drill, Guards, Evil Bomber after he goes in for a Barbrill. We'll have to wait and see, though. So I want him to pop the ability. I don't think he will, though. Actually, screw it. I think, I think this hits the Evil Bomber. Oh my gosh. Yo, two hits on the tower. That's filthy. That was so good for us. The Dagger Duchess should be able to kill all the Skeletons. Even if he Graveyards, I'm not that scared. Maybe I should be, actually. Oh, I'm kind of scared now. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Am I dead? Did he just, like, all in me? I think he did. He really was a savage. Oh, if only that Ice Spear went out of the night. All right, so I really don't want to lose to someone named Daddy King. That is just, like, that, it, that would be so sad. That would actually be a very sad time. I can't lose here. We have to, we have to win. Alright, so we're going to be able to get some damage, but obviously uh, Daddy King is getting a lot of value as well. Not ideal. The graveyard counter. Possibly going for this. Hopefully the Little Prince is able to put in work. Alright, alright. Not great, not great. This is actually looking like an L, but you never know. You never know until you know. Oh my gosh, this is not going to go well. Oh! Okay, alright Daddy King, I see you. I hate you, but I see you. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, no, he does know. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that was so rough. I did not enjoy. Not an enjoyer of that experience. Stop, Daddy King. All right. Maybe we're still going to make it happen. Who knows? Please, Bomber, lock him in the tower. For the one time. For the one time. For the one time. Yeah, look at that. Hey, hey, we got him. Not really, but you know, one could wish. Stop it. Oh no. Oh yes. Yes. Spam more graveyards into me. I dare you. I dare you. Okay, please. Please. Tornado is in. Daddy King didn't want to win. Oh my gosh, please. Please, I've never had such a riveting game in my entire life. I need to win this game. Please. Let's go. You see, guys, it's the power of giving Clash Royale no money that allows you to win. <laughs> the strategy of not buying the shop offer and leveling up your, uh, your Dagger Duchess is the play. So, that's what we're about, guys. If you do end up doing this, if you do want to... It's not the worst decision in the world. Um, it's just, it's, it's not ideal. You can get it for free by going through these and collecting all the wild cards. Eventually, 
you will be able to level up your stuff buying the legendary offers in the shop as well. Usually. Okay, yeah, usually there's a, like legendaries in the shop, but I guess they removed them this season. Uh, I guess they're like changing around the economy. Anyway, would highly, highly recommend being able to buy as many legendaries as you can. All right, so let's keep going. We won the first game of the day. Let's freaking go, guys. We broke the curse, part two. The curse has been broken today? Yeah, it was broken last time too, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, just win is the strategy. Does Dagger Duchess counter Graveyard Foley if there's no tank? See, these are the questions I don't have answers to. I'm not sure yet. All I know is the Dagger Duchess was really, really good against Graveyard there. And the Dagger Duchess is very overpowered, actually. Like straight up, she is so strong. I don't think that like Clash Trial will buff her, but if they do, then they're just crazy. They're out of their mind. I know that a lot of people thought the Dagger Duchess would be bad, but the reload time that it takes to reload is not that bad. Like right now, I'm forced to play defense, so then the Dagger Duchess just reloads everything. Really ridiculous. Even though he's going to end up having balloon, it's fine. We can still use the Little Prince and uh, clean everything up. So I do enjoy that. Let's pop through with the ability here. I usually don't do this, but in this very particular po position, I felt comfortable because I don't think he's going to be able to defend against the guards very well. Okay, never mind. I feel like an idiot. I literally just sacrificed guards in the almighty Valkyrie and uh, Mega Minion. So that's not good. But yeah, Dagger Duchess should still be able to get a lot of value here. I do have to go Ice Spirit. Otherwise, we're not able to counter the Valkyrie. Uh, also, the Valkyrie being out of cycle means that I can go in for a Bomber and Goblin Drill again. So the most annoying way of playing Goblin Drill is just spamming Goblin Drills with Bombers at the river every single chance you get. It is the lowest skill way of getting top, like, I don't know. You can get top 2,000 doing that. Like, legitimately, you can be terrible at the game. And just spam Goblin Drills and then, like, have okay decisions. Drop the Goblin Drills at the tower and drop a Bomber and then have decent mechanics. And then it's better than dropping Hog Rider. So it gets... The Hog Rider is easier to counter for sure. Okay, I, I'm just bad. That was that was really bad. That was a terrible ability. I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's like I almost want to lose a game. Something like that. Okay. Uh, I don't think this could have been any worse. All right, all right, all right. We got to we gotta make sure that this guy is not going to win this game. We, we can't let another Arc Man win. This is not his training arc. This is the arc that he gets destroyed. He's a villain. Alright, so we're going to go in for guards here. He'll probably go Valkyrie. We'll go Evo Bomber on it. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. Honestly, not even a fib. That was really good. Alright, we'll do this. How much damage do we get? Alright, Valkyrie's dead. Okay. Okay. Do I even have to make King Tower or no? I do. All right, cool. Pro plays. We did one good play today. We did one good play. I did something good. Imagine showing you guys a, a good play to do in Clash Royale. Look, guys, I'm not that stupid. I don't make bad plays the entire time. I showed you how to activate King Tower with Goblin Drill. Imagine. Please let me win. All right, we're back like we never even left. Okay, I hate you. Don't do that to me. A vindic vindictive individual. All right, he arrows is. Oh, he loses the skeleton dragons to the Evo Zap. That's cracked. That's actually cracked. Wait, we're just gonna keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming in a sea of spam as we seize the towers. Okay, that did nothing for us. Uh, please don't lob on me, sir. Okay, well that's fine. I think. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Chill. Chill, Bill. Chill, Bill. Wait, he used his arrows. Doesn't know. Bro, don't know. Bro, don't know. Bro, this is going to blow. Oh, baby. We lining it up. We loading up the values. Oh, wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 don't do this to me right now. Okay, thank goodness. I'm so proud of that defensive sequence where we activated King Tower using a Tesla and a Goblin Drill. That was cool. Because I think Tesla's pull radius is like way worse than a Bomb Tower. So it's just, it feels better. It feels better. We got him. Get a grip? Dude, we got the best grip here. We're winning games two in a row. 
Naked Graveyard versus Duchess gets 800 damage, says Trapper John. Thank you for letting me know. So apparently, Dagger Duchess does not do phenomenally into that. We're going to zap so we can one-shot the princess instead of taking two princess hits. How would you log that? Like that? Why wouldn't you drop it, like, on top of the little prince? I don't know. That was kind of weird. That was too close for comfort? Yeah, but it was perfect for content. Perfect for content, my dudes. All right, we're going to go drill here. Rocking with blue today? Ah, uh, yeah, dude. I really love blue. It looks good on me, and it's just my favorite color. Or it's one of my favorite colors. I think that, like, I don't know. Depending on your skin tone and also different um, different things, like, different colors will look better on you. For instance, uh, I know, like, if you have, like, a... I don't know. If you're likely to get, uh, I don't know, like, red spots on your face or... You, des you definitely don't necessarily have, like, you're more predisposed to being flustered and getting red. Like, it's not necessarily good to ro wear red colors as well. It just look looks bad on you. There's certain things like that that uh, a lot of people do. I think, like, the number one thing that guys do that is, like, really awful is they'll wear super baggy clothing when it doesn't look good. Like, they'll purposely, like, wear, like, large or extra large just because it's comfortable. But uh, it doesn't necessarily, like, fit perfectly or fit very well. Which is fine around the house and stuff, but if you're trying to, like, work or something, uh, it's definitely not the optimal thing to wear if you're going in somewhere. Anyway, that was, like, I don't even know why I said that, but thank you for uh, noticing what I was wearing, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Um, we're gonna go guards here. We're gonna go in for Goblin Drill. We'll also go for Bomber. Basically, one thing I just want to say is, like, I, I don't know if you guys remember. If you want to go and rewatch my videos, I would say, like, uh, 2018... All of my clothes were, like, two sizes too big for me. I'm not even fibbing. Like, legitimately, I think my clothes were, like, two sizes too big for me. Um, one of my friends thought I was, like, 5'4", because he's like, wait, your clothes look so big on you. And I was like, no, I'm actually 5'11". <laughs> so it was really funny when, the, when they met me in person. They're like, wait, there's no way. I thought you were, like, uh, I don't know, so much smaller than you are. Anyway, that, that was a funny thing, I guess. Um, just because I was wearing, like, the wrong clothes, and I didn't know any better. Alright, what can we do here? Go for an Ice Spirit, and we can go in for a Drill here as well. I can Evo Zap, but I like going in for Evo Bomber. Uh, screw it. Let's Evo Zap on the Princess. No one wants to play against that card. Does Evo Bomber lock on a tower? I'm sure it does. Yeah, it does. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? It's not, a, it's not an imbalanced card. Alright. See you later, brother. GG! As you can see, this is a really OP tower. Very strong. He's extremely good in situations where you are minimizing the amount of time that your opponent has on offense. If you can do that correctly, then you're in a good spot. Also, when you're running a building like a Tesla, you can pull your opponent's units into the middle and have both dagger duchesses fire off rapid fire to melt any type of big beatdown push. Uh, so that's one thing that I do enjoy is using buildings with it. Having two buildings is even better. Why is bro BMing you? Ah, uh, you guys should never care about emotes. It's just an emote in a video game. It doesn't matter. Uh, I wanted to say hi. Have a great day. Blue is my favorite too, says Allstate. Yeah, blue's an awesome color. It also uh, looks good for people that have blue eyes. Uh, favorite stores to shop clothing at? Uh, I usually go to outlet stores because if you go to like regular stores, you'll spend a lot more money and you'll kind of get scammed. Like for instance, in Bellevue, where I used to live or around that area, um, I would go to like, I don't know, Unicolo or whatever, and I would spend like $40 on a shirt. And I would be like, wow, that, you know, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, and then I would go to like Lululemon Outlet, uh, where you could go to, I, I think there, there's one in Seattle. There's also one in Boston and it would be like $40 for a much higher quality shirt. And that thing would last me like a lifetime and it would be very comfortable and it would fit well. It would have like, I don't know, everything about it would just uh, feel a lot better. So Generally, one thing that I realized is, like, outlet stores are a savior. And a lot of malls, if you just go to shopping malls, like, they kind of scam you. Um, the, the prices are so inflated there. I just, I couldn't. I, I could never buy uh, full price clothing. <laughs> I'm not capable. I'm not capable. I feel like there's a few things that I'm a meme about. Is uh, I will never buy an expensive car. And I will never buy, like, really expensive clothing full price or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. I know a lot of people do. Um... Especially like when you end up getting more money and stuff. Uh, it makes sense to be able to. But 
Um, for me, I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> I want things that look good and also um, uh, feel good and don't cost an absurd amount of money. Uniqlo is decent priced and super good quality. Yeah, I like Uniqlo. That's why I gave an example of like somewhere that I actually bought clothing at at a real like mall. Also, Uniqlo in Japan apparently is way cheaper. Significantly cheaper. So that's one thing that's pretty funny. Favorite show? I like The Good Place a lot. I thought that was one of my favorite shows uh, that I watched recently. Um, really, 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 really good. All right, so can we win this game? I haven't even thought about what I'm doing right now. I'm cycling Lava Hounds in the back and then expecting my Dagger Duchess to be able to finish everything off. All right, I guess we're gonna arrows this. Oh my gosh! There's no way. There's no way. I I arrowed a Hog Rider and it died. I arrowed a Hog Rider and it died. Guys, we might have a slight problem in this game. There's no way that that just happened. I repeat, I arrowed a hog rider and it died. Do they test these cards? Do they test them at all? I don't think so. I genuinely don't think they test. Wow. I can attest that they don't test. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is actually insane. Also, this matchup is awful. I don't have anything for Inferno Tower, really. So, like, this matchup should be a win for him, but... This is so funny. Also, my Lava Hound is not even level 15. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this. Okay. Oh, can we go Evo Bomber and kill it? Well, I guess Inferno Dragon is locking on the towers. That's huge. No guards. That should be able to full counter hog, right? If we were able to arrow it before, then it definitely dies to just guards. See, like the positive elixir traits that you can get, just because of the amount of damage that you can get, means that you can throw more elixir on offense and conserve your tower health. This is why the Dagger Duchess is overpowered. If you're constantly on offense and your opponent doesn't get enough elixir to overwhelm the Dagger Duchess, then you get in good positions where you just get more value. Like the, the tower is actually overpowered. The tower is actually overpowered. There's not there's nothing else I can say. It, it is straight up overpowered, 100%. Like, like that, that's just stupid. I shouldn't be able to defend that. Oh no. We're nowhere. I should have zapped on the, um... Yeah, I, I screwed up. That's fine. Wait, does he lose? For the real... For, for the one time. I hope he does. I mean, we'll see, right? Oh, baby! Let's go! Level 15 Lava Hound isn't even needed. Wow. That was ice cold, dude. That was ice cold. Level 14 Lava Hound just locked up a W. That's insane. I mean, we killed a Hog Rider by arrowing it. Like, legitimately, that was probably one of the dumbest interactions I've ever seen in my life. This has to be, like, straight up illegal. You look at this interaction and you tell me this game is fair. Someone in the chat, please. This is legitimately the dumbest interaction that I've seen uh, from any of the towers so far. I mean, out of the three towers they've added. This is insane. Oh, maybe this wasn't it. Nah, that wasn't it. Where's the hog rider? Here it is. I arrowed it. I arrowed it. Oh, the bomber got one hit on it. But still, I arrowed a hog rider and it died. <laughs> I love watching this. This is just like, this is crazy. I just keep watching on repeat. There's no way that that's a real interaction. That's actually insane. That interaction is fair. This interaction is fair. I agree. I agree. Fair and balanced. This is a really good Lava Hound deck if you guys are wondering. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Seven Elixir against two? No, arrows are three. 
the bomber got one shot. The bomber got one shot. Kanir is still better, apparently. Yeah, Kanir is probably still better at the highest level, but... I mean, there's certain decks that this is definitely better in. Anyway, it is what it is. That was Stonk's value? Yeah, dude, that was pretty crazy. Go for a knight and then a firecracker and see what else we can do. Hey, sir, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, man. Thanks for asking. I appreciate you. Caring enough to ask. Let's keep going! So we could fireball here. We could also bowler. The reason why bowler is in this deck is because you just want to be annoying. You want to have Inferno Tower, bowler, tornado, rail delivery. You want to be that menace that no one wants to play into. You have like the best defenses in the game. Because you can defend with the, uh, the uh, Duchess and not respond to things. And then you also have the ability to just like give value otherwise. Like we're in a fireball here. And we're in a tornado as well. <laughs> he isn't ready! Like for real. Watch, the Dagger Duchess on the left is going to be able to assassinate most of his stuff. Isn't that pretty funny? Alright, that could have been better. I was hoping the Dagger Duchess would be able to kill the Royal Ghost. Royal Recruit deck? Royal Recruits are really, 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 really bad in the Dagger Duchess. Same thing with Three Musketeers. So the reason why Three Musketeers and Dagger Duchess don't work well and Royal Recruits and Dagger Duchess don't work well is because when you're spamming into both sides, the Dagger Duchess on both sides do not get overwhelmed as easily. If you're spamming in one side, the Dagger Duchess from the other side can't hit it. That's the main reason why a uh, bit of a difference. Also, Fireball plus Goblin Drill does kill a Musketeer. Because the Goblin Drill does splash damage when it spawns in. Anyway, I, I guess the main thing that I was saying was if you do split lane pressure against the Dagger Duchess, you have to overwhelm both towers. So it actually encourages you to spam in one side way more, which is not something I like. Wait, guys. Guys, guys, guys. I'm a nuisance for society. Wait, how did that hit? Oh, calculated? Oh, that sucks, bro. I thought for sure that was going to work a lot better. Also, we have a level 14 in front tower. Uh, does it matter? I think it probably does. Yeah, having a level 14 in front tower is rough. Why am I playing all these underleveled cards in my opponents that have all level 15 cards? The world may never know. But does it matter? Probably not. Yo, he's going to pull the bowler directly into his tower here. I can sense it. I can sense it, Sensei. What are you going to do? Watch this. Oh, dude, he's, he's not having a good time. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. He had a much better time than I thought he would. All right, we'll fireball here. We'll be able to kill the RG and then go in for a Goblin Drill. Maybe I can go in for another Firecracker as well. Or we could Bowler and Firecracker. There's a ton of different things I'm allowed to do here. It doesn't really matter. I also like Rail Delivery a lot. Because it cleans everything up reliably. Inferno Tower right in the face of an RG. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's pretty meme -y. Dagger Duchess reload! Yeah! Oh no. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! You had one job, Dagger Duchess, and you failed me. That's why we can't have nice things. He eventually activated the King Tower. Can we not have this happen right now? Dude, stop fireballing me. You animal. Alright, the Musketeer just died. He used fireball, so... Please? It's gonna pull the, the knight, right? Yeah, cool. Very nice. Very nice. What a terrible ice spirit. What was that supposed to do? How did he expect that to work? Alright. I think this fiery ball is probably worth it. Most likely, if that doesn't do something, I'm a sad sir. But I'm not a sad sir. I'm a happy sir. As I spam more stuff right in his face. Alright, cool. We go for another NATO. Tornado time. Then we do this. Then he's like, wait, I can't fireball. That was a bad fireball. 
because it didn't hit the Inferno Tower. So he had to Fireball on top of the Inferno Tower, but he decided to Fireball on the Tower. The Fireball on the Tower was guaranteed to not give him extra RG hits, which he needed to win the game. Um, I always, like, I guess it wouldn't matter regardless, but he should have definitely Fireballed on the Inferno Tower. Because maybe he would have been able to, like, get a couple RG hits, and that would have done more damage than the Fireball damage. But hey, it doesn't matter. Dagger Duchess is really, 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 really easily able to counter recruits. However, recruits might work w with Dagger Duchess. If you want to play Dagger Duchess with recruits, that could make sense. You drink? Uh, no. I drink water. <laughs> I'm actually a pretty healthy person, despite being sick right now. Uh, usually pretty healthy. And I've been trying to level up my healthiness. I really have. Trying to go into bed earlier, trying to do a lot of things that are healthy for me. Eating way more salads. Uh, yeah, you guys will see. You'll see a huge change in the next... By the end of the year, you guys are going to notice that I've been working out pretty much every day. The only time I haven't been working out is like recently because I've been sick for the past like four days. But uh, hey, that happens. Popped in. Early Duchess thoughts. Uh, early Duchess thoughts is she's really strong. I thought she would be weak based off of like what I saw originally, but she's a really good card. I think that the Dagger Duchess is by far, like, I don't know. I mean, she's top two, right? She's better than the Princess Tower for sure. I don't think there's any reason to run Princess Tower anymore. It's either going to be like, I don't know, uh, Cannoneer or uh, Duchess, depending on if you have leveled them up or not. And I think that the Princess Tower will eventually never be used. That's my prediction. Oh, that's brutal. Well, I guess in this very specific situation, the Dagger Duchess really sucks. <laughs> Wait, is this going to be the first game I lose? When I said, Dagger Duchess is so strong, and I lose like the very first game that I say that? Really? Really, Clash Royale? You're going to do me like that? You're going to make me look like an idiot in front of 1,500 people? Okay. All right, game. I love you. We, we, have, such a, we have such an awesome... Uh, vibe with this game we have such a healthy relationship the game never wants to troll me not even once not even once all right we're going for a night here and we're in a firecracker and we're probably gonna lose but who knows can we blame the inferno tower not having high enough health <laughs> can we do some mental gymnastics oh what was that jake what am i doing oh i'm so stupid i'm silly and stupid guys i'm just silly and stupid i'm just a Simple, stupid guy. I don't even know what else to say. Oh my gosh, dude. Stop. Stop it. This is painful. Why do you have a bandit in this deck? Why is this hurting me so much? Please forget to how to play the game. Please forget how to play the game. Please disconnect, sir. I'm ordering a side of disconnect. And it's not working. Well, that was one of the worst losses we've ever had in our lives, but we'll jump on the next one. Make sure to keep up your protein intake and stay uh, caloric surplus even when you're sick, or you'll lose some of the muscle when you take days off. Yeah, I, I'm still eating a lot of uh, protein every single day. I had so many chicken, uh, sorry, I had a lot of chicken breasts yesterday. That is, how many chickens is what I was about to say. That was such a bad picture. So many chickens, guys. I, I ate all the chickens. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. He said dagger is OP. Yeah, I said dagger is OP and I immediately lost the game. That was pretty funny. All right. You are not... A, I'm again not in the center of the frame. Am I always not in the center of the frame? Bro. Thankfully, that's on the center of your mind and you're always telling me. All right. Guys, believe in me. Let me say dagger duchess is overpowered and win this game. For the one time. Anyway, we should be able to kill the Mega Minion and then just Inferno Tower. Oh, this hand sucks. Dropping it into Kane Inferno Tower. Great. This is exactly the way we want to play. If that Inferno Tower expires, I'm never going to hear the end of it from you guys. You guys are going to call me so stupid. You're going to be like, Jake, you're a fool. It, it, this Inferno Tower needs to do things. Please. Wait. Oh, no, I misclicked. That wasn't supposed to be that. That was supposed to be a, um, I think that was supposed to be a delivery, and then I was going to NATO on the balloon, 
Would I reach the tower? Okay. Okay. That was that was really that was really not the play. That card order was awful because I would have wanted to drop the Inferno Tower later, so it wouldn't have died the fireball, and then I could have activated the King Tower. But that is a complete skill issue. All right. No one uh, no one has to know any better though. We're still in the game. We're still in it to win it. Believe in me. Please. <laughs> Please don't let me lose. My poor mental can't take it. Please? Okay, wait, we did a lot of damage there. It's comebackable. It's comebackable. I don't think so, but we'll we'll try to force it. This is gonna be such a force. Oh, that's cool. I think that's a sarcastic well played, but we'll take it. Thank you. Me thinks. All right, we have one last push in us. One last push in us, bros. Wait. Push ourselves to the limit right now. Let's go. We're cracked. We got the firecracker. All right, we're literally stacking up bowlers. This is the dumbest decision ever. But it has to work. There's no way. There's no way this works. There's no way I take a tower here. No, Bully! Bully! Please. Oh, I did it! But I'm dead. Okay, well, that was very anticlimactic. Guys, at least we took a tower. At least we did something. Right? I'm not getting three crown. You're getting three crown. You guys didn't see anything. We'll go next game. No, Jake, never lose. J bro is selling? Uh, I was the biggest merchant you've ever seen, bro. I sold the entire game immediately. I was so eager to sell that I gave him a massive discount. I let him go in for one push to win. That was probably one of the worst plays I've ever done. Mistaking a card for another card. Have you guys ever done that before? Do you watch the NFL? I do not watch sports ball. I've never watched sports ball in my life, really. Uh, one of my roommates in college, actually my freshman year roommate, he loved the sports ball so much, every time the Patriots lost, he screamed at the top of his lungs, too. And I was just like, bruh, not only do I not understand, I do not love when you scream about the sports ball. But also at the same time, I was like, maybe if he's betting or something like that, I don't know. Anyway. If I had to bet real quick, this guy is running the Battle Ram Evolution for sure. And this Firecracker is going to hit his tower twice, I think. Yeah, buddy. For the two time. Wait, is this guy a merchant as well? Look at it. Mercanio. Or Mercenero. I, I don't even know how to say words today, guys. I don't know how to say words in general usually, but uh, yeah. Mercanero. Probably a mercenary. <laughs> Not a merchant. But it's okay. We can say he's a merchant. Sports ball? Yeah, yeah. So I call uh, any sport sports ball because that's how athletic I am. I, I, I'm just joking, by the way. I, I don't necessarily uh, classify myself as unathletic. I just don't really watch sports because esports. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I generally, uh, I, I personally prefer like exercising myself and just playing pickleball or tennis or running or working out compared to watching sports. If you didn't really like grow up watching or playing a lot of the sports, then it's not necessarily as fun like being a part of it. Um, for instance, like, I don't know. There's a couple things like basketball. Uh, it's not as hyped because there's a lot of scoring throughout the entire thing. So unless the game is close, it's really hard for me to get into it because you know everyone's gonna be shooting like two pointers or three pointers the entire match. And, it seems like, oh, wow, they scored another point. Like, <laughs> we've seen that a lot. Uh, for hockey, hockey is actually really, really hype. And I don't understand what the heck is going on in hockey. I didn't even play hockey growing up, but I love watching hockey. Hockey is actually built different. It's a really fun sport. Uh, baseball, I actually did enjoy watching a lot. Football, I mean, <laughs> not a huge fan of. Um, and then you guys are going to roast me. You're going to be like, soccer? Football? Uh, so for YouTube videos, I never really say like uh, football <laughs> unless I say American football, which is kind of weird. I, I, when you have an international audience, it definitely is uh, changing the way that you describe things. Oh, wait, I should have drilled. If I drilled, 
The batter him would have exploded on the tower. That would have been so funny. Anyway, doesn't really matter. We probably have to fireball all this or delivery. I think I'm going to just roll with the delivery. Fireball the tower for the game. GG! You can also hold down a card to see how much spell damage it does. Can you freestyle? Uh, not today. <laughs> what evolution do you like the most? Uh, definitely the mortar evolution because it throws goblins at the opponent. It's really cool. Can you quickly tell me if Duchess is OP or not? You can go to the very start live stream and see what I said about it. It works in certain decks. It doesn't work in every deck. Sorry for being repetitive. It has a ton of low DPS defensive cards that need reliable damage from the towers. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, this deck is just really, really defensive, so... I think it does work. I mean, it is played in the top 20 in the world, Smurf. So, it's really, really good. It's just, you know... It's personal preference type of thing. The deck, it still works pretty well. I think that you are right. I think Cannoneer would probably work better with this deck. But, I also want to experiment and see, like, what I can do. I do think that Goblin Drill probably works well with it. Uh, but Goblin Drill probably works better with the Duchess because it's overpowered more so than the Synergy being strong. The Synergy doesn't really make it as strong. I think it's just the fact that Drill is overpowered. Just to get two shots. Oh, I almost got another shot in the tower there. The fact that you can defend minimalistically and then defend like with a Bowler or Tornado or Inferno Tower is really, really nice. Hey, he's a QT. What a cutie. I'm gonna give some love. All right, dude. Your, your tower's looking mad cute today. Hopefully, we can hit it real hard. All right. So we're not hitting on his tower today, unfortunately. Uh, what do we do? I hate the fact that I have to, like, pre-fireable something. And hope I hit something. <laughs> what else was I gonna cycle? I don't know. Now I can drill, at least. Delivery time! Very cool. You have to be quick with the delivery. Alright, he loses the knight, no damage. Alright, we need a NATO. Oh! Oh, he is filthy! Wow! Very nice, dude. Very nice. Nice strategy. Very cool. Tornadoes it in so the skeletons start multiplying faster. What a savage. What a savage. All right, that firecracker does not hit the tower, but it is what it is. Don't walk into the poison. Don't moonwalk into the poison, please. What a disaster. Stop it. Wait. Yo! Yo! Let's go! <laughs> That's so toxic. It's actually so toxic and funny at the same time. I've really been enjoying this. Let's do it again. Let's run it back, baby. Let's run it back, baby. All right, that fireball could have been so freaking good. Wait. Please. Yes, one more. Ah, oh, talented. Bowler at the river. Magic Archer part two. <laughs> Some of the interactions that you guys are seeing today are probably blowing your mind. That bowler is legitimately at the river. Legitimately at the river. And it doesn't even matter. This stupid, stupid card needs a nerf. Good job, Clash your Alp. So yeah, Smurf Blade in the chat, top like 200 players saying, Duchess herself doesn't really do that well with this deck, Jake. I'm like, I don't care. This deck is so overpowered that it doesn't even matter. Like... The fact that you can use Bowler and Firecracker and just spam a lot of annoying cards at the river and do damage basically like an expo but splashing through your opponent's units, kind of stupid, especially since the Bowler is going to guarantee that it'll give value because you force out units in front of the tower when you go for a Goblin Drill. Remember where he dropped his Knight, by the way. We just, I want to show you guys where he dropped his Knight to lose the game. You tell me if you guys think this is a game-losing play from our opponent. Oh no, sad. Do you guys believe that someone should lose the game by dropping their knight at the river? 
If he drops his knight at the river. <laughs> right here. Did he lose the game? Cycling an evolved knight at the river. What do you guys think? <laughs> Did this knight lose in the game? But my bowler is also at the river. My answer is no. I don't think that should lose in the game. But it does! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's actually so funny. I guess we sa we sacked the quarterback, bro. We sacked the quarterback. Audio? All right, fix the audio as soon as you guys said it. Thank you. All right, next deck. Let's play Golem. Let's play Golem. All right. Get after it. Next game. So this Golem deck is really, really good because you can build up big pushes and stack up Elixir Collectors. If you get to stack up Elixir Collectors, then what happens is you're able to build up huge pushes and then overwhelm the Cannoneer. This is one of the, sorry, not the Cannoneer. Overwhelm the, uh, the Dagger Duchess. This is one of the best decks to beat Dagger Duchess and it works really well with Dagger Duchess as well. The bar has been dropped so low by Evos that this is just normal. You think that the Evos overpowered interactions have made that normal? It's a nerd you to how overpowered cards can be. So you guys can't even complain about the bowler from winning at the river? I guess that makes sense. We can't hear the game? Yeah, because the game uh, was having some audio issues, so I turned it off for a, sec for a sec. Evo Knight would have saved him if you hadn't NATO'd. Yeah, but obviously I'm going to NATO. So. All right, so he's saying thanks. I don't know why he's saying thanks. I mean, I dropped a golem, sure. But, I mean, I'm probably an Electro Dragon and kill the Phoenix and then be in a pretty good spot. Oh, this guy's pretty VM. You know, he's pretty happy with uh, position, I guess. All right, so you should definitely lose the princess, right? Uh, I guess not. We have to zap that. Let's zap it when the phoenix is within range of our tower, though. Because I want the dagger duchess to kill the phoenix egg. This guy's crazy. I don't think he really understands that he can't just spam random cards at the river. So... For us, our entire like, idea of winning this game revolves around cycling elixir collectors and then defending minimalistically. Unfortunately, a prince coming at us is pretty annoying. I think I'm going to go for a little prince and click the ability. It's going to be our best way of countering this. Pop it. Pop it and lock it on defense. GG. It's nice that it cancels the charge. I do enjoy that. All right, we get an elixir collector here. We might be better off. To, oh my gosh. Wow. He, uh, he actually kind of counters a little bit. Not like super hard, but whatever. Bye-bye. See you later, princess. No one loves you. Dagger Duchess wanted to kill you. Based off of the lore, apparently. Like Dagger Duchess and the princess don't do so well. So makes sense. Makes sense that she was so hostile there. Why is he saying thanks? He's not going to be able to break through. Why is he a fireball with a uh, freaking... What? Earthquake? Like, I'm so confused. Well, it doesn't really matter, right? He just loses to a, uh, a golem push. I'm pretty sure he just loses to a golem battle healer push. Pretty sure we just heal up all the damage. Wow, this guy is... He's vicious with it. All right, we're an Electro Dragon and Zap on top of a minion horde. This guy is so, uh, so aggressive. He's, he's, really, he's really thanking me a lot. Okay. We do have Evo Zap for the minion horde now, so I don't even think we need anything else. So that's going to be pretty big. All right, pop the little prince in the right. Drop the ability. Evo Zap. And we hopefully be okay. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not great. Actually pretty annoying. Hey, it is what it is, I guess. We'll see how this goes. Fireball comes down. I forgot about that. What is this deck and why does it hard counter me so hard? Like, actually, the Phoenix is really annoying for the Electro Dragon. The Fireball is really bad for our barbs. Hopefully, we can still win this. You never know until you know. 
I have to battle healer here. Really rough. Maybe we're still going to be okay if we can just do this and have the battle healer go to the right side. Fill up all the damage, maybe? All right. Please? Looks like I probably lose this. Unfortunate. No. Well, I wish I got a better matchup here, I guess, but you can't always get good matchups. Sometimes you will literally play against people that have like Earthquake in their deck for no reason. I could have done much there. We'll jump on to the next one. There's no way this wasn't a snipe. Uh, I think sometimes people just run really, really, really awful decks. But yeah, I do think that this is a possible snipe. It's possible. You never really know. Uh, you just choke, but no worries. You'll get him next time. Uh, I didn't choke at all. The matchup was pretty much impossible. If they have Earthquake for the Elixir Collector, you can't really build up an Elixir Advantage. If they've got Fireball for the Parbs, it's pretty hard. Obviously, I can't really, like, I can't really break through that. Um, yeah, that, that was a really, really tough matchup. If he just continuously spams, he forces out Battle Healers, so I can't build up a very big push. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's part of the game. Bro is playing Golem. I know. I guess it's Karma for playing Golem Battle Healer. No game sound feels weird. I know. We put the game sound back. We're chilling. Lumberloon recruits with archers a great secondary evo. Yeah, archers are really, really strong right now. GG. Yeah, it happens. You jump on the next one. Um, we're gonna go for an elixir collector in the middle because we don't know if he's gonna have miner or not. And you're able to decipher where the miner is gonna go if you drop your elixir collector in the middle so you can catch it. So do we go battle healer? I think we go battle healer off to the right. And then what do we do? I guess we go Golem because we're probably up a lot, right? We went Ghost and he went for minions. That's six elixir wasted. So if we go in for Battle Healer afterwards, it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Battle Healer got a hit on the tower. We're also up elixir with the elixir collector because he hasn't really been able to punish that. And he's going to go for Little Prince directly into an electric dragon, so that's huge. And we can go for Little Prince as well. I just win this interaction really hard. Like, I think we win this interaction very hard. And then we can go for Elixir Collector, and we probably win the game. Uh, why use Evo Zap instead of Evo Bomber? Uh, Evo Zap is really good in this deck because it allows you to uh, finish off bait cards that you wouldn't be able to kill otherwise, like Evo Firecracker. Um, yeah, it's kind of a big deal to be able to kill that. All right, this is good. Great Zap. Take it. All right, that gets one hit on my tower. Probably not two, though. Fine. Not like it matters. I'm going to cycle Battle Healer here. I can pop the ability if I want it because he's down a lot of Elixir. We'll see. Not going to. Can I do that? If you really want to sacrifice the P.E.K.K.A., then I think I'm okay with this. I could Evo Zap, but I don't think that's worth it. It's probably just better to do this. Good. Just be able to kill everything. I don't even want to go in for anything else. The tornado was pretty annoying that I had to cycle that, but it's fine. Remember, uh, we have Evil Barbarian, so if he spams into us, he automatically loses the game. We're going to go for the barbs anyway. Little Prince in the middle is great. We're going to force an Evo Zap. Wow. That is aggressive with it. I think it just kills everything, right? Yeah. Okay, spot. You eat all the damage from the barbs. Eat the damage from the bandit. Dagger Duchess is a little bit struggling on, off on the left, but it's fine. We build up a big push and probably uh, just ruin his day. Prince here. Pop the Evo Zap. Oh, that actually could not have done what it just did. What just happened? How did he... Oh, did he zap? He must have zapped on the little prince to kill it. Oh... Usually, Little Prince always kills Bandit there. What the heck happened? I have to rewatch that. He must have zapped. Because I looked away, assuming that we were going to have a good interaction, but that didn't work. He must have zapped it. Sometimes when you're commentating or just playing the game in general, you've memorized interactions, so you're like, oh, this interaction works in our favor. But he must have zapped it. He zapped the Little Prince, right? Yeah, he zapped it. Yeah, that makes sense. If I made a prediction on the zap, I would have won the game, but uh, I thought that I didn't have to spend Elixir there. Well played to him. 
GG's. He zapped the little prince and your dagger duchess had zero animal, uh, ammo, so it broke through. Yeah. Unfortunate. It is part of the game, right? All right, we're going to drop our little prince in the back right. And we also go in for a battle healer here. We'll definitely win the battle at the bridge, like, very decisively here. With the Electro Dragon helping out, this is guaranteed to win the battle at the bridge. We're probably playing against another golem deck as well. It isn't actually ideal to uh, cycle your Night Witch like that. That's a very bad play. So now we're up a lot, and I think we just won the game. Like, I have 80% accuracy that we've won this game. Very high confidence interval. If we ever play against someone that decides to go for a uh, Elixir Collector later, and we've got Golden Battle Healer, and they've got Night Witch, all we have to do is go same side as them, because they, the Night Witch dies to Electro Dragon. So it's practically impossible for them to get a good trade here. And generally, if you're up Elixir, starting off a Golem in the back is not a bad decision. Because what you can do is when you drop that Golem, you're able to guarantee that your opponent is forced to go into you a lot of times. And then you just Electro Dragon and you, you kind of just kill their stuff. Like this, the only thing that he has for damage right now is a Electro Dragon. That's it. So kind of, kind of bad for him, honestly. And we'll Zap as well to guarantee that. Oh no, our Electro Dragon died. Wait, that was really unlucky. If our Electro Dragon survived, we just won the game. Wow. Wow, that is so lame. That went about as poorly as it possibly could have. I could have just won the game there. That's fine. That's a little bit of copium on our end, but it's okay. I still I still think the matchup's very much in our favor, so we just want to go in for uh, barbs in the back and then, you know, make it happen. Let's go, let's go. So we're going to drop our golem on the same side. And then she's so broken she can fully counter a naked goblin barrel with just skeletons. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not like super broken or anything. Like wall breakers get countered by no shots from a cannoneer. Like the cannoneer needs no support or anything. So really situational, I guess. All right, where's Zap again? Okay, uh, we have a lot of stuff coming at him. I think we win the game by just dropping a golem. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, ideally, we get interactions like this, where our opponent doesn't have like good answers to our spam, and then our Electro Dragon just stays alive, and then he dies to the Electro Dragon. That's ideally what happens. It doesn't always happen, but usually that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, that should be a dead Electro Dragon from him, I hope not and whatever he actually played that pretty much perfectly surprised that he was able to block with the knight wasn't able to do much on our end all right we'll just little prince and then we'll go for another golem and we'll just build up a big push because he should lose this interaction really hard he's played this pretty much perfectly i haven't expected him to run electro dragon though unfortunately he did A lot of extra elixir on our end. I don't get that much from it. But I do have elixir collector, so might still be okay. We also do have Evo Barbs, which is pretty broken. I'm not gonna lie, like I can't fib. Evo Barbs are really strong. Like they're super, super, super strong. Alright. I'm going to go Golem. We also have Electro Dragon plus uh, Evo Zap, so that's pretty big for us. Oh, baby! Look at that Evo Zap! <laughs> Yo, I evolved the Santa Claus. Let's go. That's it. That's GG. That's it. That's all she wrote, bros. Very good player from our opponent, obviously. Like, he's not bad at the game. He identified what our win condition was. And he was petrified of our Electro Dragon locking onto anything. The entire game, he was scared senseless of the Electro Dragon. But it didn't matter. We stole all of his monies. We stole all of his towers. And the guy is very frustrated right now. He's fuming. Fuming, I tell you. Sir Tag, are you the security guard at the Dollar Tree? Unfortunately, I am not the person you were thinking of, sir. I do get the reference, though. I mean, I am Santa Claus, and I just made a joke about money. So, we're chilling, bro. 
Uh, Smurf Blade rank all the Evos. I think Smurf Blade would probably say that the number one best Evo is going to be um, uh, Evo Bomber. I, I feel like everyone would say that Evo Bomber is the best. If you're good at the game, uh, you would assume Evo Bomber is by far the best evolution. Uh, for two Elixir, you need to arrows it and then still take 800 damage on your tower every time. It's pretty annoying. And it's played by everyone. I think out of the top 200, Evo Bomber was played 100 times or more than that, which is ridiculous. <laughs> An evolution should never be played that much. Uh, the other best evolution would probably be Evo Zap. It's played in practically every deck as well. Evo Zap and Evo Bomber are the best. Evo Ram is pretty good. Not the, like the best or anything, but it's pretty good. Oh, he just really threw this game. What is this guy doing? What is he on? A guy. All right. Well, we're going to Elixir Collector because you just decided to straw up all of your Elixir in single Elixir. Sure, you can take out a lot of my tower, but you're probably going to lose the game after that. I feel like anyone that does that in single Elixir is crazy. Um, I could have tornadoed on that. I think the tornado might have been better, but who knows? It doesn't really matter. I have Nado now, so I can activate King Tower if he decides to go for a minor. Oh, very cool. Not so much right now, so we're just going to go gold. He also logged our tower when he's down Elixir, which is terrible. Um, if you're down Elixir, you can't really log a tower. Not how you're supposed to play the game. He might minor into me or something really, really bad. He's also wasting his bats too. Everything about this has been bad for him. Sometimes you just know that people do not play minor poison at a higher level. They're just like practicing it for the first time. I think this guy is just practicing it. I mean, he does have cannoneer, so he might be able to defend this, but we'll see. I hope that doesn't happen. I feel like it would be a very undeserved win for him with how he played that. Yeah, please just take the L. Sure. Alright, we didn't do as much damage as I was hoping for. Still part of the, you know, part of the process, I guess. Run it back, so you can't go in for another miner. I guess you're going to anyway. Alright, cool. We can do this. Possibly get away with an Evo Zap. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, we're just gonna zap this so it dies. Nice. Pop the ability. Alright, I didn't break through, unfortunately. I really thought I would. I mean, maybe we do. Who knows? Not over till it's over, right? It's not over till it's over, brother! Well, I really went in, and it did not win. Oh, Cannoneer is really, 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 really good into Golem, as I said before, unfortunately. I do not think this guy played well at all. I genuinely think this was like one of the worst uh, Minor Poison decks, I, or one of the worst Minor Poison plays that I've ever lost to. Not players, but plays. He played terribly. Anyway, we'll jump on to the next one. Um, anyone that spams like that at the start does not know how to play Minor Poison. Um, if you unload all of your Elixir at the start of the game, you should die if your opponent has like a weirder deck. Fortunately for him, what he matched into was just a whole bunch of beatdown cards that kind of get crushed by Cannoneer. Cannoneer is very, 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 very good into Golem because it does a lot of damage. So then, if you guys remember this, oops, I don't know if it pops up still. Did I delete it? I might have deleted it. Yeah, I don't have the thing anymore. But if you go to the very start of the stream, it showed like how the Cannoneer's damage is a lot better than everything else um, against beatdown stuff. Yeah, it's kind of kind of unfortunate. He still won LMAO. Yeah, I, I feel like um, there are different takes in life. If you have the take of like, oh, you won the game, so therefore you're better. Um, I don't know, man. You're like very lost in life if that's uh, if that's like what you think actually. And then there's really no way of like making any explanation for you. Um, I could say like hypothetically, oh, like um, he did win the game, but he had a good matchup. And then you just wouldn't understand that, but it's okay. Um, that's I've realized that like either people don't understand things or they're just really troll, and you can't really you can't really save either one of those people. Um, but it is what it is. Only like uh, very specific situations like that. Um, sometimes there's questions and there's like oh people don't understand things, but if like you're being disingenuous, then there's no way of saving you. You will stay disingenuous forever. 
All right, so we should be able to stop that mini packer from hurting us. Unfortunately, we don't get to activate King Tower because we just do so much damage. Um, is Expo playable this season? Expo is definitely decent. Not like the best in the world, but Aragon was saying it was a lot better. Um, the Evo Tesla made it a lot stronger, so yeah, Expo does work. Tag, grow out your facial hair. I actually do not shave today. Tanner saved his butt. Yeah, yeah, it did. Did really well there. Yo, yo, yo. Calling someone bad uh, when you play this game for a living is wild. Uh, you're also taking things out of context, my guy. Um, so yeah, I guess I generally give people warnings on that type of stuff. No more disingenuous comments for the rest of the stream or you get perma banned. Um, I said he did not play well when he spammed BM the entire game. Like, he's just like, you know, uh, not very nice about winning with a hard counter. So like, that's the type of person that I have no problem saying that he did not play well. Uh, and I also, if you don't remember, I did not say he was a bad player. I even made the distinction. I said, he played poorly that game, which is a an accurate statement. He did not play well and he wasn't very nice. So therefore, I'm totally comfortable saying the guy did not play well. Um, but yeah, don't twist my words and do not twist things that I say. If I legitimately say like, hey, he did not play well and I made the distinction say, I don't think he's a bad player, but he definitely hasn't played Minor Poison that much. That is the wrong way of playing it. Like that is a very accurate statement. So that's what it is. Anyway, we recommend uh, I need to Minecraft server. Minecraft? <laughs> I really do not want to play Minecraft like that. Minecraft is one of those games that uh, it's just not necessarily um, the graphics aren't that great. I know that's not the point of Minecraft. Like that's literally the, like <laughs> the graphics are not supposed to be good, right? But I didn't love uh, playing that game because of the, the graphics, honestly. Also, why does this guy have um, mini pack Electro Wizard and all these weird cards? Hopefully, we can still win. Usually, they don't have buildings, so you just auto win this matchup. But this is one of those few moments where you know, really hard to auto win into a mini pack of mortar and all this other stuff i really hope we can break through though all right cool so looks like we do win this even though he ends up having like a lot of good cards to counter us the uh tower is really weak against big golem pushes all right already we go next okay What specs are you rocking on your PC? I'm actually not sure. I built it a while back. I built it a while back. <laughs> what about Pokemon Showdown? Uh, I haven't played Pokemon Showdown in a bit. I did play like, I think maybe five or six games recently. Uh, I played and won all but one of them. I lost one game and it was, it was fun to revisit the game. It was, it was fun to revisit the game. It's nice to play games that you're actually really good at that, you know, uh, don't give you any value whatsoever in life, but they're they're fun to play. Dang, man sees none of my comments. I try to read a lot of comments, man, but there are also a lot of people on the stream, so I can't see every comment. Ignore the trolls. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I just the reason why I said that is because like I uh, I do typically ignore and then perma ban or like timeout. Uh, but I try to give people warnings because a lot of times like. Uh, with other YouTubers, they just like let whatever happen in their chat and they don't really care. Um, like at all, at all. They're like, oh, let's just have the most toxic community ever. I don't love that. So I try to, uh, give a warning because I don't want to perma ban people that aren't used to that. Like for instance, like let's say, um, <laughs> you've never, 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 never had moderation in any chat that you've ever been in. So you're used to just saying like really toxic things, but you would never be toxic in a different community or a different uh, environment. I, I like giving people warnings so they can know like, hey, we don't we don't have that here. Um, so that's that's the only reason is like um, I like telling people like that there there is actual moderation in this chat. Um, that's the only thing I like giving people the opportunity to not be bad people, because I would say 99 percent of people are not actually bad people. I would say that most people just enjoy trolling or enjoy having fun with it. There is a, fall, a very, 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 very few amount of people that like uh, actually not being good humans. Anyway, that that is the reason why I wanted to give you a reference. Uh, okay, we're also losing this game. Why did I drop an elixir collector when we knew that he had earthquake? Cause I knew you would earthquake my tower. Obviously, we're talented like that. Wait, he's gonna get back to another earthquake. He's definitely getting back to another earthquake. Oh, that sucked. That hurt. 
That actually hurt my feelings. All right, we lose. GG. Nice knowing you guys. There's no way I win anymore. That was awful gameplay on my end. Why did I do that? Because I don't like winning. Maybe we can do something. Do you believe in magic? Maybe. Oh my gosh! I believe in magic! There's no way! There's no way! How did we win that game? Ah! The elixir collector, it was so stupid that it was smart! There's no way! There's no way! That was luck? I 100% agree with you. That was pure luck. We take those. Hell yeah. That's crazy. He didn't stutter? No, I stutter like 90% of the time. Are you kidding me? I stutter so often. I'm the stutter king. I stutter step like Marines in StarCraft 2. Uh, what happened to the Trash or Treasure series? I haven't done it in a minute. All right, so this is another deck. This is played by like the rank five player in the world right now. Really good. Well, let's see where he is. Uh, yeah, he's actually five in the world. Wow, he's right on the money. The sub guy. What's your take on D Dagger Duchess? Very, very good. Uh, it has high health and it does a lot of damage. So if it's better than the Princess Tower, I probably almost always play it over Princess Tower. Um, I think that the Cannoneer is still better in a lot of decks though. Apply the just win mentality. Yeah. The pure Golem dominance is why, of course. Golem's pretty broken, not gonna lie. Go to 2% of your power. I literally used one brain cell, bro. I got very lucky. Like, that was legitimately just a lucky game that I did not deserve to win. You know, I, I say it how it is. I do not lie to you guys when I don't deserve to win and when I don't deserve to lose. I very much say that every time. I really did not deserve to win that game, but I won it anyway. So uh, that's why I'm celebrating. That's why I'm happy. I did not deserve to win. I played like an idiot and I won the game anyway. And that's the power of this golem deck or the golem deck that I was playing is very strong in specific situations. Oh, this guy is actually screwed. He literally just lost the skeletons and goblins and uh, a mighty miner. That is really funny. <laughs> All right, so yeah, if you hog riders, we just Tesla here and we full counter. Oh, we have to Evo Tesla. Oh, that's so fun. I haven't played Evo Tesla in a while. I meant to misclick. I meant to click it one more tile lower. This was a misclick. It should have been one more tile lower in the right, uh, right down the middle. You should play all games like this in the beginning. You want me to play stupidly at the start so then I can have to like come back in every game? Is that what you enjoy? You enjoy me playing like an idiot and like forgetting to cycle the wrong cards and like mess up half the time and then somehow win the game? Is that's that's your yeah, that's your idea of entertainment? I see you dude. See I stuttered like five times there. I said that's five times. Alright, we're gonna do this. And we're going for Mighty Miner as well. Did you buy the shop offer to match out Duchess? Uh, no. I did not max out Duchess with the shop offer. I actually said that at the very start of the stream. I showed you guys how I did it. I used all my legendary uh, cards. And then I used everything that I had. So I used all my special magic items to max it out. Which I think was a good utilization. I don't want to spend $40 for an emote. I don't care about an emote that much. $40 for an emote is highway robbery. Not worth it for me. Plus, honestly, every single time they add a new card into the game, they're going to give us the ability to max it out. They're just going to be like, <laughs> we will make everyone max out every single new card. Or like, if you are a content creator that's trying to max out your emotes, imagine trying to be like, having every single emote in the game and then being forced to buy all the predatory shop offers. That would be so sad. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. I never shop offer because that would be crazy. Did you buy the offer to max out Duchess? All right, I'll show you guys. Everyone's asking, even though I said no. Uh, here's proof. As you can see, the forty-dollar offer is still there. I did not buy it. I did not buy these uh, the smaller ones either. Well, I guess the smaller ones are gone, but I never bought them. You could rewind to the very start, and I showed how I did it. I used all the magic things, all the wild cards here. 
and then I had two. Uh, I had two book of cards, legendary versions, and I used one of them. You use all these to get to level 13, and then 13 to 14, you use a book of cards. You can do it for free if you have those items. It's literally OJ. No, it's not just OJ. It's OJ and SML. OJ and SML do the uh, do all the offers. I feel bad for them. It's a lot of money. It racks up really fast. I do think OJ doesn't care, <laughs> but I feel like SML probably understands like how uh, how how like um, how bad it is. Actually, I think OJ cares too. Genuinely, I do think OJ does care. I, I think he doesn't want to get scammed. What's the best way uh, to having a rolled up plausible business oiled up? Oh my gosh. Why did I read that? Oh, dude. I got baited so hard. I, I thought he was going to ask me a business question. But why would you ask me a business question? I'm an idiot. Uh, you would probably just, you would just want to troll me. Why did I read that, bro? He's like, how do I make a business on getting oiled up? Well, first off, your comment is not original enough to have its own, like, unique business. Honestly, that's probably been trademarked a billion times by now. Getting oiled up. Alright, please, lock onto the balloon. Yeah, I did. Oh, beautiful. I played that so well. Yes! Skill! Yo, guys. Guys, let's be honest for a second. I've played very well into Lobhound decks. Like, surprisingly so, my gameplay into Lobhound has been on point today. Like, legitimately, these defenses are cracked. I swear. I swear. It's me playing. <laughs> I think I needed my brain to just get turned off by the oil comments. Then I could play perfectly. That, that's, that's what happened. You guys made my brain fried so that I could play really well. The strategy is here. That was some sick defense. All right. Let's go, Mighty Miner Switcheroo. Switcheroo. All right, we're not able to switcheroo him. That's not going to work. How do we defend? Is this the end? I think so. Oh, I suck. Oh! Oh, my God! All right, we're still live somehow. All right, this is calculated. I actually messed up. That should have pulled. I lose. <laughs> this matchup is really tough. I did win it earlier. So, I don't think it's impossible. I do think that you have to play a lot better than your opponent, though. I think Lobhound is very, very good in the meta because it does counter most Goblin Drill decks. I played so well at the start until I didn't. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Tag's not pregnant, but he always delivers. Why do I see that comment every time? It's probably because my old gamer tag, honestly. You guys love doing that to me. What's your opinion on Cannoneer? Cannoneer is probably the best, still. Someone stole my backpack watching your stream in the meantime. Watching your stream in the meantime? What do you mean? Like, are you like on the way to the, see the cops? You're like, dude, someone stole my backpack. We got to go and see the cops. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the Uber. I'm ready to go. And like you're watching the stream. Like I, there has to be some more lore behind this. I have to know. I have to understand. Also, we just destroyed an entire goblin gang. Wait, I thought I dropped a goblin drill. Where'd my goblin drill go? Why is it still in my hand? Oh, I didn't have elixir. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, that was so painful. Have you guys ever been like, Wait, why did my card not get dropped at the river? And you're just like a deplorable, incorrigible bridge bammer that only knows how to drop cards at the river. You don't understand that you you are limited by your elixir sometimes. That just happened. I really thought if I spammed all my cards, I would win. I believed in the heart of the cards, Yugi boy. Oh, that was so bad. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Strategy, strategies. Evil Bomber. Splash. Bash. Crash. Thrash. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Strategy, strategy. Strategy. <gasps> Please. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was awful. That, that sucked. That was so bad. I thought it would do things. Why does he have skeletons? Goblin gang. And then something else that's like another bait card. 
Why does he have three sorts of bait cards? What? I got baited there, bro. Yeah, he's got recruits too. Yeah, so recruits, like goblin gang, skeletons. Like, what the hell? What do you heck? What is it? What is homie cookie? Why do I not like it? All right. Well, this guy, um, he might be pregnant and delivering. I don't know, guys. But he is delivering a lot of spam. Like, we have no idea. We have no idea how, how this guy is delivering three bait cards that I do not want to be playing against all in one deck. I have no idea. It's not supposed to happen, though. We really don't enjoy. Wait. Strategies. They're good. Oh my god, it didn't kill. That sucked. <laughs> Yo, Mario, don't do this to me right now. Bro! Mario, don't do this to me, bro, Loft. Okay, we're good. I, 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 I'm not enjoying this, though. This has been, like, one of the worst games ever. We're gonna pre-log something, hopefully. Of course we hit nothing. Why would we ever hit anything? Tickle my Tesla. Alright. Please don't air me. I hate you. Dagger Duchess, shoot stuff! Please! Please! You stupid card! Don't be dumber than me! Oh my gosh, calm down, brother man. Calm down, brother man. Calm down, brother man. Wait, there's a strategy here. It's called Wham Bam, I Bridge Spam. Wham Bam, I Bridge Spam. Oh, that was actually terrible. I didn't even get a shot. Ah! I think we're fine. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I was scared. <gasps> oh! Get shocked on! Okay, please. Please just let me win. I'm getting way too hyped and invested in a stupid game. What, this isn't even this isn't even end of season. This is early season. Why am I so invested in this match? What's wrong with me? You know why? It's against recruits. I don't like losing against recruits. Yeah! See, recruits are awful into the um, Dagger Duchess because I could just ignore a lot. I didn't even play well. I really didn't even play well. The Dagger Duchess just wrecks recruits. It wrecks recruits. It wrecks Three Musketeers. Pretty much wrecks everything. Really strong. New to the stream, thoughts on best Lava Miner deck without Balloon? I actually played one earlier. It was really strong. We need to show it again. I'll show it. I probably won't play it again. If you had to play this deck with one Evo, what would it be? Uh, what are the Evos that I'm running? I know I'm running like Tesla. Well, I wish I could evolve my brain, so I didn't do that. That 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 was that was rough, buddy. That was really rough. Well, we got a spawning goblin drill. It's basically a spear goblin hut. Yep. I have a spear goblin hut, guys. But it's spear it's it spawns stab goblins because I'm stupid. Uh, strategy, though. Okay, yeah, it would definitely be Evo Bomber. Evo Bomber's broken. All right, I lost. Wow, Giant Graveyard is really, 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 really good in this meta. You want to know why, guys? <laughs> because we waste all of our shots on the Giant and have nothing for the Graveyard. Amazing. All right, please. Please just die. Okay, thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Wow, that was so aggressive. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I screamed. I'm not really. Oh, I love this game so much. Don't you love Bowler? I love Bowler. Bully! Please. Please lose the game. Please lose the game. Please lose the game. I did really well. Honestly. We baited out arrows, killed the Bowler, and forced out... I don't know. Did a lot of damage. He's not back to bowler, but he's going to giant graveyard me. I can sense it. Oh my goodness. This is fun. Fun, 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 fun for the whole family. Got the family pack of barbarians. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Oh, I love you so, so much, brother. That was the worst ice spear in my life. 
All right, let's send the bomber into the shadow realm. He's gonna like die. No, no shot that he gets damaged, but actually he does get damaged. Wow, That's crazy! It's Tesla time, and it's giant graveyard time, and it's drill in the back time. Probably poison time, maybe. Who knows? Yep. Okay. 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 Are you ready to rumble? Okay, that was interesting. They were in an okay spot, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Mayhaps. Please. Why is he like this? All right, we're gonna try to get away without dropping a Tesla. <laughs> Is it dumb? Maybe. Is it fun? Yes. Is it going to be successful? I really hope so. Oh my gosh. Stop. You psycho. Can that please die? Alright, cool. Wait, do we kill all the barbs with that? There's no way. There's no way Evo barbs die to a freaking one bomber. That's so funny. That's that what we needed. They didn't all die, but they're pretty close. Stop! Oh my gosh, I hate this game. I'm a dum dum. He's also dum dum too. He's got big dum dum energy right now. I can sense it. Oh my god. How the hell did that hit my tower? Baby Rage never lucky. Well, I activated the King Tower, but it's a little bit too late, my dudes. I'm gonna get arrowed. Oh, that was painful. I dropped skeletons and the skeleton got hit and then hit my tower. That really sucked. Alright, we'll go to the next one. I don't like bowler. I'm not an enjoyer of the bowler interactions. Sir Tag slowly losing his sanity. I thought I already lost it, man. I definitely lost my sanity a while back. How's it going, bro? It's going pretty well. The, the stream has been a very fun one. I'm not going to lie. I've been enjoying the stream a lot. The fact that she just completely invalidates cycle decks is so frustrating. Uh, I don't think she like invalidates cycle decks. She invalidates cycle decks in single elixir, though. If you're trying to spam cards into her, she just deletes miners. Like that miner just got his sent. He got he got unlifed there. I don't even know. Pretty pretty wild. We're gonna poison here so we can get more damage. Unalived? I think that's the word. <laughs> Why are there so many Mega Minion decks right now? I don't know. Uh, Mega Minion is not that strong. It's not played that often. If you're playing against Mega Minion, then you're probably at like lower ladder, like where we are right now. We still are not ultimate champ yet. Oh, look at that gameplay! Riveting! <laughs> it's about to get a little bit more spicy! Please? Oh, I'm so stupid. There's no way that just happened to me. I hate this. Log the mortar! Please! Yes! Wait, does that die? Oh my gosh, there's no way! There ain't no way! That would've done like 500 damage to my tower if I didn't respond with skeletons. That's frustrating. Do you like lacrosse? I really read that as licorice for a second, and then my brain press, processed it as lacrosse. I love licorice. I don't really love lacrosse, though. I'm not a lax bro. Even though it seems like I might be one day with how much I grow up my hair, I'm sorry to disappoint. Oh, watch this. Boom, baby. Bada boom, bada bing. And then we go in for a bomber at the river. Everyone's cut bowler. <laughs> Why? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Oh! I'm an intellectual! Look at me go! Look at me roll! We got this! Oh my god, I, I'm screwed. Or am I? Or am I? I think I might be okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I need to stop being so stupid. For the one time. Please? Please? 
Okay, that didn't work. Uh, no Mother Witch in cycle. Please let this work. It's so bad for us. Oh my gosh, is that bad? Wait, strategies, strategies. There, this is a little bit unhinged, but roll with me, guys, for a second. Believe in me. I, that really worked. That actually legitimately worked. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit in disbelief, but I'll take it. Okay, stop using guards and bowler to counter a goblin drill. I hate you. It's almost as if you have multiple answers to me. All right, he's going to go minion horde again for the 20th time, maybe. Really? Huh. I'm surprised. All right, we're going to go for a mortar counter, probably, maybe. Goblin gang? Uh, no, no, guards. No, nothing. I, I, I don't enjoy. Oh, he's so scared. <laughs> Ooh, we got you. We got you. We're living rent free. Oh my gosh. Wait. Can we just please win this game? Why is this taking so long? Sir, just roll over and lose. The one time. Just stop dropping guards. Stop dropping guards. Thank you for listening to me. I love you. I love you so much. I really appreciate your dedication to spamming, though. It's been it's been a remarkable journey. Had a remarkable journey, my guy. I understand that we lost to this stupid stuff earlier where the bowler hit my tower, but I really don't want to lose against that again, so I'm not going to lose against that again, okay? You see, when I've lost to against it enough, I've realized that I don't like losing to it. I don't want to encourage the similar behavior. How do we take the other tower? What the actual heck? We'll take it, I guess. Surprised? Yeah. Wow, you got it. <laughs> I also read someone reading someone else's name and typing it and typing shedding. And I'm like, am I shedding? I hope not. Are you taking care of your physical health? But you seem to be taking care of your mental health. You seem off. <laughs> Oh, my guy. I, I am an eccentric individual. Um, this is who I am. I just have fun at all points in time. And I don't really care about uh, how people view me or anything like that. I just enjoy life. So whatever comes to my mind, I just say things. Um, is it a little bit weird sometimes? I can't deny it. It's definitely weird. Uh, is this my normal? It is my normal. I'm slightly sick right now, but yeah. I'm doing really well, man. I'm enjoying life and I'm really enjoying this game right now. Well said. Hey, thanks, dude. Uh, the new tower, is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Doing it for the fam. Bro needs some sleep? Nope, I just have genetic under eye circles. I do not need sleep. I have been sleeping a lot, and I've been very healthy about it. All right. Can we please not lose here? Please. Bomb everything. All right, that didn't work. You guys think he clicks the ability? Of course he does. How much will this hurt? At least one. At least one. Uh, you know how the doctor's like, how are you feeling on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> Freaking one right now. Look at that. This guy's already one. It's terrible. It's tragic. Why is my Mighty Miner dead? Bro, you just turned my Mighty Miner into a freaking bait card. Imagine. I feel like when you say Mighty Miner bait, you do not mean the Mighty Miner gets turned into a bait card. But that's what happened. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Strategies. Strategies, 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 strategies. Strategies, strategies, strategies. A boom. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh. This is looking like a really bad matchup, honestly. I don't like it. I'm not an enjoyer of this experience. Can't even lie. Probably gonna die. Stop, dude. What the hell? Unless. Unless there's a strategy here. 
Like, ah! Ooh, it worked! We made it out the arrows. It was actually a prediction. I definitely did not mess it up. I'm definitely good at the game. I swear. I swear I'm not bad. I swear I'm not trash at Clash Royale. I swear I definitely knew he was going to, like, miss an arrows. All right. All right. We're talented. We're talented like that. We're talented like that. Okay. All right. I'm glad we cleared that up. Uh, you guys would have never believed me otherwise. It was, it was pro play. It was pro play. Pro play. All right. I'm dead. Stop it. Every card's at the river. Get away from me. No one loves a bridge spammer like this. Please. Just die. Oh, look at that value. Oh, okay, he just arrowed me. I'm an idiot. That's great. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so painful. He actually dropped like an arrows predicting the skeletons. I let it lock onto my tower. I felt really dumb after I did that. I knew I shouldn't have let the fisherman lock onto my tower. Because if you let the fisherman lock out of your tower, you can defend it with Ice Spirit or Skeletons there because the fisherman will like lock onto the skeletons in front of your tower. So I was trying to stop him from making predictions. But in an effort to stop him from making predictions, he was able to make a prediction because I was forced into a play. I was hoping he wasted his spells making predictions on my stuff, and he didn't do it. I lost the mind games. I lost the mind games. Damn it. Imagine being so weak mentally to lose the mind games. It would be me. Evolve Valkyrie? No, I'm going to play some decks like this. This deck is really fun. Fun, 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 fun. For the whole family. All right, we can just do that. The bomber's going to splash out on the night, hopefully. Ah, it gets logged. We think the best power, uh, troop is for Hoggy Q. Probably Cannoneer still. This could also probably work for it, but I think Cannoneer is better. Cannoneer on top. Start a new job in Seattle. And can't believe there wasn't free food, says Kippy. Imagine, dude. That's rough, bro. That's real rough. Can you imagine someone uh, not spamming a freaking expo in your face like that? I can't believe that, bro. I can't believe we matched into an expo player that spams stuff at the river. I mean, what do I even do here? What do I even do? I like, just pray? This is the only strategy I have. This is literally the only play that I have. I had a freaking Tesla into his Tesla. Oh, that sucked so much. That was actually uncomfortable. What was that noise? I don't know, dude. That was agony. All right. There's an insane golem deck and you'll love it. I was playing a golem deck that was really good. Please don't log me. Please don't log me. Please don't log me. I got logged. That sucked. Well... I do not think that that was a very fair start to the game. I'm not going to lie. This sequence was awful. This was actually atrocious. He just like expo tesla me and got away with it. And he did like a good play where he was able to get the expo onto the tower. But that's also not that impressive because he probably just learned that from like one video from watching YouTube. And then he's like, I will do this for the future. And then like memorized that one interaction and then was like totally fine with it. I dislike um, the one thing I don't like about Clash comparatively to the past. The past, it was a lot more adaptability, and the better players generally were able to like play a lot of different decks or whatever. Now it's like, if I have memorized a very specific pattern, I will repeat that pattern, and I will win games. That is actually how you get better at Clash Royale, by the way. You're just playing one deck over and over and over again, and doing strategies that are annoying like this. This guy played well, though. Like By all metrics of Clash Royale, he played really well. Do I think that this is like what deserves a win? Uh, no, because I'm very salty that I lost to an Expo player. It's not fun losing to Expo Tesla at the bridge. One of the least fun things to lose to. I think like Elixir Golem is more fun to lose to than this because they just drop defensive cards for the rest of the game after they take their tower. After they take your tower. The play that I'm referring to that I thought was like, you know, used to be really big brain in 2018 or 2016 was this. It's not even that big brain anymore. It was this play. I cycle my um, Mighty Miner. Notice how the Expo's targeting my Mighty, my mighty Miner. 
He just does like this small play where he pulls the Mighty Miner slightly off to the right. And then I don't have enough time to drop the Goblin Drill to defend. Because uh, unfortunately, you know, it just works out in his favor where uh, he ends up getting the Expo to retarget on the tower. Since he does that play, I didn't get the Goblin Drill down fast enough, unfortunately. It is what it is. That was a good play on our opponent's end. But I also don't think it's like the Paragon of Perfection. I don't think it's like the best play in the world anymore. Um, it, it's something that I should have predicted, to be honest. It's very mainstream. Um, unfortunate. That is my bad. You know what's also mainstream? Dropping a bomber with a goblin drill like that. That is a strategy that really is toxic. Like, if you spam bombers, goblin drills at the tower, at the start of the game, it's really, 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 really frustrating for opponents to deal with. Ice Spirit Log full counters. It's a lot of damage. But we still have Evo Bombers, so I'm not even not even pressed. Not even pressed right now. Not even pressed. See, we force out a log and we get that amount of damage. It's pretty cool. So the other thing about this deck that makes it toxic uh, is the fact that you can spam Goblin Drills viciously. Since you have Mighty Miner, so you have a three-card cycle. So you go Bomber, Skeleton's Ice Spirit, and you're back to a uh, you're back to another Goblin Drill. I'll show you guys that cycle very soon. All right. Imagine getting predicted like that. Could not be me. I wish we got another shot there. That would have been huge. So strategy for us is probably go for more goblin drills, waste out elixir like this, and like not getting all of his shots to reload it. I think the ice spirit does connect. Yeah. Since the uh, Dagger Duchess was still reloading, she wasn't able to finish it off. I want to log, but I want to wait a little bit in case we can hit some other stuff too. If he dropped like a Wall Breakers or Miner, then he would have wasted a little bit. If he dropped a Miner in front of that, then the Miner would have just got killed. Even Wall Breakers just die, so that's pretty big. No damage here. Bomber is really, really good. He could Magic Archer on a couple Skeletons, honestly. It would not be a bad decision. Or would it? Ah, oh, dang it. I was really optimistic. We do have Evo Teslas. That's huge. Oh, terrible value for him. All right, so we have the Mighty Miner. We should be able to get back to a drill before we're back to Mighty Miner. So that was a three-card cycle. Notice how we defended with a... Uh, we, like, we went on offense with a Goblin Drill, and then we're back to another one before we even left. Is that insane? Is that kind of crazy? Magic Archer, me daddy. Yes, sir. Look at that. Easy. Alright, this is a free win. It's uh, more matchup based. Like, we have a, a much better matchup than him. So, just something to keep into consideration. Like, when I do have good matchups, I always let you guys know, this is one of them. If I lose this, I'm a lot worse than my opponent. Because his Magic Archer does less damage. It's more fair and balanced. Everything about it is more balanced for him. Besides, uh, you know, us balancing the odds of winning in our favor with overpowered cards. We'll just poison for more damage because he can't do anything about it. Bomber splashes tower, and that should be GG. Yep. Kind of crazy concept, right? To be able to spam uh, more drills than your opponent. Like, that's why minor poison sucks right now. It just can't out damage. It never is able to out damage drill. Drill just does more. Just win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to win two more games and we'll end the stream. Uh, we will play two different decks after this, actually. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content today. I know I have. I know this has been like uh, more of a, I don't know, uh, whimsical stream. It's been a lot more interesting interactions and weird things going on for sure. For instance, like a lot of the games earlier, which is crazy. King Tower Activation was awesome um, that we had with the uh, Goblin Drill. I was really happy about that. I think we played pretty well too. Notice that we're not dropping a unit. We're dropping Tesla because we're scared. Oh, oops. He's going to zap for more damage. That sucks. 
So that was really well played on his end. Uh, great zap gave him an extra balloon hit. But I, if I had been able to pull the balloon, I don't think I would have taken any damage whatsoever. That would have been really, really nice. What happened to Yasu? I don't know. I have no idea what he does. I don't really watch other YouTubers. All right, let's go for Mighty Miner here. And let's go for a Evo Bomber. A little bit gimmicky, but it's also probably a pretty good play. Should be able to poison as well. Might be able to kill the Executioner entirely. One more hit. Oh, come on. Now, I wouldn't have had to respond to that. Fine. I guess we'll just let it die anyway. I never had to respond to it, I guess. Oh, look at that value, though. Even zapped on defense and it wasn't enough. That's crazy. Yeah, if you log on the the uh, cannon, the cannon will die a lot quicker. It's a good interaction to know. He'll probably minor me because he's up a little bit. But we'll see. He's only up because I messed up early. He's up because I messed up. Feels bad, man. All right. He's going to probably try a tornado, so let's go for Mighty Mire in the back. Yeah, I felt it. And it hits my tower. I hate this. That's so gimmicky. That is so gimmicky. He Evo zaps so then he can hold my stuff in place with the tornado. I thought I was gimmicky. This guy is differently uh, at a different degree. I lost because of that. That was really, really, really annoying. He tornadoed a Mighty Miner that was in the back and then did that. Oh, I should have won this game. I really should have. That sucks. Now I lose. Unless. Unless we can somehow go for a drill and then Evo Bomber his butt. That would be so funny. I hope so. This would be so deserved. There's no way I win this, but... Oh, no. I wish. Oh, that was so annoying. That was actually the most annoying interaction I've seen in the entire day. That was the worst way I've lost any game in Clash Royale. I, I hate that. I hate that. Look at this again, guys. That was super smart on his end, but also just incredibly toxic. I dropped a Mighty Miner in the back. I shouldn't have cycled Mighty Miner. I should have cycled Ice Spear or something that died. That's how I win. If I cycle something that dies, then I can freeze the uh, the Mighty Mi I can freeze the ex the Executioner, and then if he wastes a Tornado, then it doesn't stay locked onto an Ice Spear because the Ice Spear's gone. So if I Ice Spear it there, I guess I win. But literally, like what happens here is I go Mighty Miner in the back because I assume like the pathing would not get pulled directly in front, like. And then we ice spirit after, but he Evo zaps, and the executioner is still hitting our tower from that angle. Oh, that's so brutal. Our tower is at 2,000 health. We definitely won this game. Like everything was looking really, really good. I should have just ice spirit logged or skeletoned, because then at worst he gets one executioner hit. But the mighty miner gave him a permanent target on our tower. You live and you learn, right? That's really good way to lose, and then have a bad interaction where you're like, dang, I can't believe that happened. And you get better at the game. Like, I am way better at the game right now because I just realized, like, I am never cycling a Mighty Miner into an Executioner ever again if he has Tornado. I will cycle Skeletons. I will cycle Ice Spirit. I will cycle Log. I just will not cycle a Mighty Miner unless I absolutely need to or if he doesn't have Tornado in Cycle. So that's a good thing to learn, right? You could be really salty and upset about that. And I am salty. I'm definitely not happy that I lost that. But if you don't understand why, you always go back into the replay and you understand, like, what could I have done better to win that game? Because in reality, I would have won that game if I hadn't screwed that up. So you live and you learn, you always play better. You got robbed? Well, it feels bad, right? Like that's a very bad interaction to happen. But as you guys have said before, there's a lot of really annoying interactions that happen in this game. So if you lose to every annoying interaction and you get like super frustrated and you baby rage, then it's okay to get frustrated for a short period of time. But if you consistently get frustrated, you're just going to play worse in your next games.
And also, it's just like not a good mentality for life to get frustrated over those things. Because you have to expect it will happen. I mean, I won the game with a bowler at the river, right? I did the exact same thing to my opponent earlier. He dropped an Evo Knight at the river, and then he lost. I guess this guy, he made a better play because he ended up dropping Evo Zap to hold my Mighty Miner in place so I couldn't even kill his Executioner. Those Executioners just permanently did 2,000 damage. That was, I guess, a little bit different. His was like definitely more toxic, but it was also smarter than what I did. So now I've identified that I can actually lose from that position. That I never had that in my brain before, so... I'm thankful it happened now instead of later in the season, I guess. The so GG and well played their opponent there. He played well. Creativity wins. Yeah, creativity. And also, the most creative strategies are generally the most toxic as well, right? Like, the things that are really creative that you wouldn't expect, like, those things are just so annoying. Like, combining an Evolve Zap with an Executioner Tornado, that is a new combination that I've unlocked in my brain that I will create videos with. There's no doubt in my mind I will be doing that to people. And you guys will know, anyone that's been watching this content right now, everyone that's been watching this stream, you guys know why I'll be doing that in the future. Uh, that's just how it is. And annoying until it's yours. Yeah, exactly. When you do it to opponents, then it's, uh, then it's skill, right? Then it's skill and deserved, right? 100%. Oh, that's just how the world is, right? Whenever people get to do it to opponents, they always uh, feel really, like, justified in their, intera their interactions. They're like, I deserve that win. We're not back to Evo Bomber, so I don't know what this guy's expecting. Tesla on Tesla! He fireballs that? That's great. He's poison. You should be able to even kill this P.E.K.K.A., right? Bye-bye, Pikachu. No one loves you. I wonder if he dies to the Evo Bomber right now. Maybe. I hope so. Yep. GG. That's it. It was just one shot, right? Like, Executioner, Evo Bomber, all these cards at the river deliver wins when they just shouldn't. It's crazy how that does that. Full circle? I know. It just went full circle. Evo Bomber at the river is crazy. All right. Where we at? Where we at? All right, we'll, we'll play one more game. So I would really recommend this deck if you guys want to play Goblin Drill right now. This is by far one of the best ones in the game. It is so strong right now. It is so good. I might even take a screenshot of wherever this guy is. He's ranked six now. Probably make a video on this deck because it is really good. So shout out to Cal Sub for creating like the opportunity for us by pushing so far up the leaderboard with this deck. He's played really, really well with it. Someone also asked about a Lava Hound deck. So we could play that. We could also end up playing another Goblin Drill deck. One sec, by the way. I'm going to grab more water. We'll keep playing afterwards. BRB. We'll show you guys that. Uh, actually, what was the best game so far? I think the Lava Hound game earlier was really good. That was probably my favorite. Where was it? Oh, it was this one against Archman, I think. I think that defense was so sick. Uh, this one was super stupid. This one was super, super stupid. All right, I'll be right back when, like, maybe two, three seconds. Be right back.
Alright guys. You will add on another game. You will add on another game. Just because I uh I ended up leaving for a split second. I said I was gonna do one game. I'll do two games for you guys right now. Also, let's go! We get the wild cards. Awesome. I'm so happy I can get more wild cards now. So last game of there we'll get two more games of the day. First off, let's play the golem deck because it's fun. Oh, also the light is shining through. So one sec, I'm gonna close the door. Nice, nice. Usually I go and cycle my zap there, but I'm gonna cycle Little Prince instead. Is Cannoneer better? I would say Cannoneer is a little bit better in most situations for sure. All right, let's just tornado. <laughs> Wait, that was so goofy. That was so goofy. We tornadoed the firecracker the other side, so then his hog rider didn't have any support. So then the firecracker didn't get to kill the barbarians. That wasn't even a prediction, but we did it. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Let's go. That's what we like to see. You having a good day? Yeah, I'm having a great day so far. All spell deck? Probably not going to play an all spell deck, but, you know, it happens. All right, we're going to go battle healer here. Hog Rider only gets a little bit of damage. Firecracker just dies. Yo, this is actually really, really good. Pop the ability here. Go for an Electro Dragon the other side. Do dual lane pressure and see if we can get damage. This might be one of the dumbest things I've done, but we'll see. Yeah, that's pretty stupid, but it almost worked. I like the fact that he's spending that amount of elixir, by the way. It's pretty funny. So we will drop the barbarians directly on top of the firecracker and the hog rider at the river. Oh, sir, you are obnoxious. All right, if we zap, I think it might just die. I bet you it just dies. If we zap on this. Please. Yeah, screw you, mighty miner. Oh, wait, that's going to take my entire tower. Oh, I'm so dead. Well, it was nice knowing y'all. I don't think we can heal up our tower with a battle healer. I feel like that would be a cool strategy. But unfortunately, that didn't work. Dang it. All right. Well, <laughs> this matchup is very undesirable. I'm not going to lie. I think that Firecracker, when you can't kill it very effectively, is one of the hardest cards to like match into and look at yourself and be like, ah, that's a fun card. It's not a fun card to lose into, ever. Die! Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm so screwed. No, the Electro Dragon didn't get to uh, reset everything in perma win. No perma win here. Get away! No one loves you, Firecracker! No one loves you! <laughs> Stop staying alive into a, a freaking Tornado Zap! Oh, that's so bad for the game that that survives a Tornado Zap that's not even underleveled. That's actually disgusting. I threw five Elixir at that! Five Elixir! Seriously, what the hell? How does that survive five Elixir? He just got it like that? Dude, he does have it like that! The firecracker's cracked. There's no way. Oh, that was insane. That was really funny. You should play OJ in a match. I did play OJ in a match. I played him in chess and in Clash Royale. Uh, I won in Clash Royale with losing like, I don't know, not that much tower health. And then I also lost in uh, chess and I had a grandmaster helping me and I lost. So, if you ask him, uh, what happened there? He will tell you the story. At least I won in Clash Royale by a wide margin, but I really got destroyed in chess. It was so sad. Well, I didn't lose, but I I counted as a loss because I tied him when I had a winning position, and then uh, my board like it got I don't know. He had like pieces, and he forced a he forced a tie, and it was really annoying because I had won the game because. I had a grandmaster helping me out, so of course I'm gonna win. And he made a blunder because he was moving fast, and then he tied it, and he just played like a freaking genius. It was so funny. I was like, "There's no way that I just tied with a grandmaster helping me." 
Uh, it was funny though. That was that was one of the good moments. But I did play him in Clash Royale then, so that was the only time that I remember. Anyway, back to the basics. It's Electro Dragon time, baby. Well, he's aft. I feel like that's not a good play. Pretty sure the bowler dies. Yeah, he's just dead. We have another tank for our spam because we dropped a little Prince ability. So he's dead. GG. It's the GG. Oh, well played in the thumbs up. A wise surgical goblin once said. And now he is dead. All right. We'll play one more game after this because we lost. There's going to be Sir Tag's villain arc. <laughs> How did you know? How did you know? You predicted me to go full villain mode with this uh, battle healer deck. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It had to be done. All right. Most villainous deck of the game. This thing. Again, I just think this is really funny. Tornado isn't for damage, but it's for the utility. Yeah, I agree, but it's still a lot of elixir spent, bro. Got a cram for chess? Dude, I was so bad at chess. <laughs> you can't leave the stream until you win two more matches? I guess so. Speaking of tribe, what happened to Chief Pat? Life. When YouTubers become extremely successful and they've made a lot of money, a lot of times they just want to enjoy life because they've been grinding and doing things for their entire life, right? But I think Chief Pat's priorities and I think a lot of people's priorities in life change over time, right? Like for instance, um, like Nick and Molt definitely have become, instead of full content, all points at every single moment in their life, they now are focusing on their life and they're doing awesome things that they enjoy or whatever they enjoy, right? Like it's, it's, it's just way different. It's uh, just how it is. It be how it be. My dude, Arenos. All right, can we just fireball everything? I think we do. It's fireballing. Oh, that was so bad. It was funny. All right. That was really, 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 really bad. Now I'm dead. Oh, he just archered in me. That's disrespectful. <laughs> what was that delivery? Oh my goodness. All right, if you guys can't tell, I've never played into an Archer's uh, Elixir Golem deck in my life. I also did not expect after we killed the Elixir Golem that it would retarget on the Archers. But in second thought, that is obvious. So I feel really stupid. To be fair, the level 14 Inferno Tower does not help on defense here at all. It just does not kill the Elixir Golem. This is really bad for us. I bet you I lose. Uh, there's always a chance, but you never know. You never, never know. I want to go for a knight here. We should be able to tank for everything. Maybe get some damage. We get nothing. That's great. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Oh my gosh, it's even worse. All right, Firecracker, do things. Okay, he's BMing us. He's not very nice. I mean, it falls in line with Elixir Golem players. It's just how it is. You gotta expect it. Are we dropping a good Elixir Golem soon and kill me? He just Fireball cycle me as well. I bet he does that. Good timing on our end. I actually played that pretty well for once. No, I'm so dead. <laughs> GG, man. You played well. Um, I don't think this matchup was very conducive for me to have victory, but it's possible. It's just the start wasn't great. He's about to be super villain. I... You know, I got out villained there, all right? Truly, truly. We got terrorized by the Dark Dragon Clan. That was unfortunate, to say the least. When is your next stream? I'm not sure, man. Not ideal. When is the tennis vlog? I don't know about that one either. You can play chess with me when you have free time. I like chess so much. I would love to play chess with you guys. I think it would be fun to play chess against viewers and lose every single time. If I played chess against you guys and I gave you diamond pass for each person that beat me, I would legitimately go broke. I would lose every single game. I do not think I would beat many of you guys in chess. I think I would have less than a 50% win ratio. For sure. For sure. Uh, which would be just tragic. Because <laughs> I play strategy games and I've always played strategy games my entire life. Uh, I feel like the sample size of you guys that would actually play chess, most of you would already know how to play though. Oh no. Oh my gosh. 
Please. Oh, it didn't hit my tower. Huh? How did I RNG good luck like that? How? How did that? How did it happen? I didn't deserve to defend that. My bowler was right in front of the tower. How did that happen? Wait, guys, for real. That's ridiculous. Mopped? Dude, we did mop up that defense, but I didn't deserve to. I play like trash. We take those, though. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is a pretty slow cycle deck for sure, but it is fun. It's very, very fun. Should I sh save my book of rares for the next tower troop or now? Uh, do whatever you want, man. Whatever you're feeling. Whatever speaks to you. Honestly, I, if you like a card, max it out. If you don't like a card, don't max it out. Or is, you can make any card in Clash Royale work. As long as it's not like a Furnace. Furnace or Barb Hutter. Oh, well, Barb Hutter could be played, actually. Furnace is really, 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 really bad right now. Okay. One more, one more, one more. Bully! <laughs> it's enjoyable. It never gets old. You just got to keep bowling. Bully, 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 bully. Sayonara! Wow, we played that really well, didn't we? Firecracker, don't go on the wrong side, please. Skeleton Army. Fireball, Priest, Fireball. Yes! I'm talented! Alright, I made the prediction. That was actually good. I, 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 honestly, that defense was like not that impressive, but the Fireball prediction was ballsy. We were balling with the Fireball out here. All right. Please. <gasps> Tragic for him. Awesome for us. We take those. Try not to lose right now, all right? Da 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 da. Fireball. All right, we really should upgrade our Inferno Tower, to be honest. Slightly sad that that thing is just not doing so well. Really struggling out here. Really struggling. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Screw you. Screw you. Sir? Oh! <laughs> if that mini pack of munched on my mini uh, Mega Bowler, I guess, we would have been, we would have been toast. If that mini pack had munched on me, I would have not had a good time in this game. Fireball? Force the arrows? Wait, you don't have arrows. You have to zap. Wait, what was that firecracker? Why did I do that? Because I'm stupid! It's okay! What? Firecracker? You just looked at it? You just saw that? You're like, no, not today. We make the prediction. The prediction! By the way, it wasn't a prediction. I was just trying to cycle with my fireball. <laughs> but it was almost a prediction. Almost a prediction. Was there an event named Clash uh, Chess? Why didn't you apply? I was literally in the event. I was legitimately in the Clash Chess event. However, they did not do much Clash Royale. They did a lot of uh, they did a lot of chess. All right, let's play two more games with this and then end the stream. We want to win two in a row. Been very fun so far today. Yo, Nicola, thank you for the $5 dono. Also, Pekka Genesis, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. And then Red Star, thank you for the dollar dono as well. I'm sorry I didn't see all these earlier. I do appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, all the money from subscribers, all the money from uh, content creation where we get sponsorships, that goes back into the channel so we can make better content. Same thing from the creator code. If you guys use creator codes or tag, that does make the channel better. Also, I do want to say one last thing. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I put out daily videos or live streams every single day. So if you want to drop a like uh, to the video right now, it allows me to do more live streams. And then also, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll stay connected for future live streams and a lot of other stuff that, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of bangers to come, I promise. But yeah, if you guys want to, feel free to. But liking the video is the best way to support this channel for free and to get more content to you guys. If you want to see more content, more live streams, liking helps a lot. Try not to lose right now. Just start playing elevator music and hit fireball. Sir Tag is always hilarious. 
Dude, I really didn't want to lose that game, all right? I try to just win because that is our strategy. Guys, can you spam just win in the chat? Because whenever you do, I win the game. So that's that's all I want to see. I just want to see lots of just wins for the next two games. All right, remember, I should not be cycling things that he might tornado. Now we're going to cycle our Mighty Mire in the back after he tornadoes. Get messed up, my man. How does that make you feel? I understand the mission. I understand the assignment. I will never have that happen to me again because I have pain. I have battle scars. I had one of the worst losses I've ever seen in my life. And I had to adapt to using my brain so then we don't take that, that amount of pain anymore. See, it's so important to like have that work. A lot of people that don't necessarily improve, that just com completely complain a lot, will never objectively look at situations and be like, I could have done that better. That's not how we operate, though. If there are situations where we can improve, I will always try to improve. Even if it's a frustrating loss, we get better about it. Consider winning. I know. I do have a hardcore matchup advantage here, so if I win this, it's not that impressive. But I hope I can win. It's always fun winning matchups that I should win. Please don't let me lose. Sir, can we talk about this for a second before you hurt me like this? Wow, we melted an entire push. Amazing. <laughs> Guys, are you proud of me? It's almost as if I have a 100-0 matchup advantage and I barely won. Not really barely, but like, this is a free win. This is something you only lose if you are absolutely trash at Clash Royale. Yeah, it's really hard to lose when all of your cards kind of counter the Electro Giant. And then as long as you don't do something stupid, like light a bowler lock onto your tower, they can't beat you. He did a lot of stuff there. He threw a freaking Evolve Knight in front of an Electro Giant with a Bowler Tornado. And then he also had Lightning for our building. Like, he had the entire arsenal at his disposal, and he got shot down. Why isn't there a two thumbs up? I got you a two thumbs up, bro. Oh, top 380 player in the world. Let's go, baby. Best way to end the day is against top ladder players. Let's go. That makes losing really bad for you? Uh... I, I guess it it evolves me, bro. Losing evolves me 90% of the time. He's going to win? I hope not. I hope I win. Or I guess you said he. I don't know who he is. Is it me? Is it him? I don't know. We have no idea. All right. So, because it's very unlikely for this opponent to go for a tornado on this, we're just going to drop our Mighty Mighty in the back. He doesn't know what we have. He went for a zap. No! If only your zap delayed my Ice Spear from jumping, because then the Ice Spear would have stayed alive and forced that extra elixir from him. That would have been funny. That would have been funny, me thinks. Alright, I could have poisoned, but I don't want to. Ah, keep it alive! Alright, that was so stupid. Why I try to keep something alive for no reason? That was actually stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm dumb. I'm dropping a Goblin Drill. This is how we play Clash Royale. Wham, bam. I Goblin Drill. That's how I play Clash. Ah. Bam drills and win. Alright, seriously. Like, I'm not even joking. It's not even a bad strategy. It's not even that bad. You spam your drills and you win. An interesting technique. All right, what are we playing into here? You want to poison? Probably not. Probably drop the Mighty Miner ability. Walk into the bomb. Oh my gosh, that's tragic. If we get Giant Graveyarded for that, oh my goodness. Well, this might be a very deserved loss. I don't even know what else to say. I kind of messed up. I done diddly messed up. Please? Wait, if I Ice Spirit, it doesn't connect because he's not running Princess Tower. <laughs> It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I can't break through that. Screw your dagger duchess, dude. Alright, how are we going to win this? Just keep spamming drills right into the bowlers. Is that the strategy here? Is that the mission? Is that the assignment? Probably, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Well, that was stupid. Why would you ever do that? You're not able to break through this. If you go in for aggressive spam right into this, you are crazy. All right. He did not listen. Wait, what if we do? Wait, I'm dumb. Why? Yeah, retarget. Oh, I'm so dumb. I should have just dropped that in a different spot. I thought it would kill the graveyard skeletons and the bowler at the same time. Why am I so stupid? 
It's okay. It's okay. It's calculated. It's calculated. He's got a graveyard to get into it. I can sense it. All right. It's probably not going to work. I'm stupid. I'm actually just dumb. Maybe he's dumb too. Maybe we're both stupid. Maybe we're both stupid. It's a zero-sum stupid game. And we want some more of his tower. Holy oh my gosh, please. Bye, Marvin. No one loves you. All right. We need to win this game. We need to win this game. It has to happen. It has to happen right now. Tesla. Let's run it. What am I doing? I'm so stupid. Giant me. No, he's not giant me. Why is he not giant me? I hate this guy so much. Wait. Wait. He used his arrows. He's going to predict this. He's top 400, right? Top 400 players would never not predict this. They would never not predict this. They would never not predict this. What is he doing? Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Why does he have two giants coming at me? This is giant failure for me. There's no way. Oh, let's go. Yes. <laughs> what a wacky game as we whacked him down with our finally spam drill. That was so dumb. Whack-a-mole just kept going through, and then he got whacked in the end by the drill. Oh, that was awesome. What a fun game. We beat a top 400 player, despite us playing like an idiot. Uh, this guy is obviously good at the game, so it was good to be able to beat someone that had finished top 380 in the world before. Uh, obviously not a bad player. And then this guy, I think, was also pr probably pretty good. Yeah, he finished 1,100 in the world, so another very good player. He's around my skill level, and we beat him, so that was good. And then Sparky player was 2,000 in the world. Everyone that we're playing into is good at the game. We didn't match into a single bad player. And we won three in a row. So best way to end the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. If you haven't already checked out the last video, it was a very fun one. So check out the pinned comment if you want to see what I think is the best minor poison deck in the game. Uh, it runs Mortar Evolution. You guys were asking me, Jake, what is your favorite card to play in Clash Royale? What is your favorite evolution? It's by far the Mortar Evolution, and this is the best Mortar Evolution deck in the game right now. I try to update it every single season. Uh, this one that I am uploading, or I uploaded yesterday, is still the best one in the game. Even though, you know, it's a new season, it doesn't matter. That deck is dominant, and it also is unique. You probably haven't seen an Archer Queen Royal Ghost Minor Poison deck, but that's what it is. It is awesome. I really, really loved it. So check it out in the pinned comment. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Long story short, I think the Dagger Duchess is incredible in decks that have either overpowered cards like Goblin Drill or cards that are cycle decks that can get right on top of tower like a Goblin Drill. <laughs> Uh, or graveyard, maybe. Um, but you really want to make sure that you are getting value with deleting cards that are annoying. Like, for instance, if your opponent's spamming Hog Rider or Ice Spirit, and then you are getting positive elixir trades because you're able to delete those for less elixir spent overall, does your deck really convert and capitalize on that elixir advantage? If the answer is yes, and you can punish your opponent in single elixir with either Evo Bombers, Goblin Drills, or by building up big pushes like Lava Hound, then it's worth it. Like this Lava Hound deck was phenomenal. We were able to arrow as a Hog Rider and the Hog Rider freaking died. It was so funny. So there, there's interactions where you're able to build up big Lava Hound pushes or Golem pushes that you would not typically be able to push through because you wouldn't be able to defend your tower usually. But in single elixir, because your opponent can't afford to spam enough stuff to overwhelm your Dagger Duchess, you're able to defend with less elixir spent and also going for a big beatdown push. And if your opponent's gonna have the Dagger Duchess, they're not able to necessarily stop a beatdown push because there's so much health points. So it soaks up all of the shots from the Dagger Duchess. The Dagger Duchess just doesn't work into beatdown decks near as well. Because longevity and long pushes are the main weakness of the Dagger Duchess. But when you're playing against Hog Rider decks, you're playing against Recruits decks, you're playing against decks that split lane pressure like Bridge Spam, this Dagger Duchess is overpowered. She is by far the best tower in the game because she will delete dual lane pressure since she has two dagger duchesses and they both attack really quickly. Or other situations where I, I was talking about we have a Tesla so we can pull their units to the middle with the Tesla so then both dagger duchess towers are engaged and they both end up hitting all the spam in the middle. 
that's another big benefit of running a drill deck or running a defensive deck with uh, anything that can pull their bridge spam right into the dagger duchesses. So you have ample amount of damage. Anyway, really fun stuff. Hopefully that helped you guys out. These are the decks that I would really recommend. Again, this Lava Hound deck is not something that I play personally, but wow, was it overpowered when I played it. And all the decks that I showcased were stolen right off of the top 10 in the world, top 15 players. Like the best players in the world are playing these decks right now. So, uh, And I also asked a group chat with pro players like Muhammad Light and those type of guys. And they're all like, yeah, these are the decks to play. These are what I would recommend. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing rest of your day. Check out the pinned comment for the best minor mortar goblin I, I don't think there were goblins in there. I don't really know why I said goblin. But yeah, the best mortar minor deck with the evolved mortar throwing goblins at the opponent. That's what it was. Check that out. Pin comment. No matter when you're watching or where you're watching, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Hopefully you guys can power up the cannoneer or the dagger duchess. Those are by far the best towers in the game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll read all the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. And thank you for liking the video and subscribing because... I can't wait to do more content for you guys very soon.